Oh, wow, I didn't, uh, I forgot to update some things on this, uh, <laughs> this overlay, I forgot, I don't need the sub-goal anymore, I don't think. Maybe I'll put it back, I don't know. Thank you, another Noman, for the 24 months in a row, and it's rain for the, wow, the big 27. 27 years. Yeah, I'm, I'm back. It's been a, uh, it's been a week since I streamed last, it feels like it's been forever. It has been it has been a while. I missed it. I'm glad to be back. So before I actually uh, before we officially start roulette, even though I just did the the national anthem and all that, I think uh, everybody's gonna everybody's gonna be coming in and asking how was Magfest? How was Magfest? So I'm just gonna gonna ramble a bit for the Magfest experience. Holy shit! There's a subtrain going. I'll thank you guys in a second. I need to. I wanted to uh, to play back a replay of something that was like fitting for the whole uh magfest thing but then i found out my batman forever 1cc that i uploaded to mark desync so i have to re-record that so i have like nothing else like whoops nothing else i can use right now i just want like some random replay to be playing just so i have like some game going while i'm while i'm talking so i, I think i used forgotten worlds before but i'll do it again i'm not actually playing right now this is a replay so just need something. Man, I got a lot of people to thank. Holy shit. That's, that's what happens when you don't sub when you don't uh, stream for a while and the subscription notices start to pile up. Anyway, thank you, uh thank you, Chubo. <laughs> Pongo Fest story time. <laughs> for the twenty six in a row. Iron Sheik eighty four for the twenty six. <laughs> Never leave again, I'll try. Goemon Sama for the five months in a row. Twist Neko, also for the Five months in a row. Pure OMSX, 15. Scuddy, the big 27. <laughs> Doom Knight for the 23. Oh, that Terra shirt was sick. And also Gundam for... Also in the big 27 club. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of subs. Thank you very much, folks. Uh, maybe I should put the game name as... Uh, uh, Magfest Wrap-Up. No... In typical BBH fashion, I, uh, I forgot to, uh, finish some stuff I wanted to do before the stream of this. Been kind of a, it's been kind of a mess. So yeah, MAGFest. That was, uh, that was quite the time. It was my, uh, it was my first time there. I'd heard uh, I'd heard the tales about uh, about what a legit convention it was, how it was just so much fun. But I think what really what really sealed it was uh, I mean uh, my my significant other Devil Ray. She goes every year and is usually doing panels. And yeah, she went uh, she went last year. But the thing was, we kind of uh, we kind of hooked up like over Christmas, which was a couple couple weeks before MAGFest last year, and so that was really sad, having to drive her to the airport so she could go have fun at MAGFest without me. And then we uh, we, we made the vow that uh, I would actually go to the next MAGFest, and we would we'd, uh, we'd attempt to do a panel or two. And uh, I guess uh, she's kind of a, uh, a panel VIP there. Since she can, she'll get like whatever whatever panels she asks for. Cause she's been doing them for so long. So we submitted uh, submitted two panels. The first idea, of course, was to do a uh, a sort of live and in person version of uh, Mame Roulette. But we wanted to do something else, so we also uh, had the idea to do some ob obscure fighting games, obscure arcade fighting games that you probably didn't play. But then again, it's Magfest, so of course there were going to be. Uh, people that had played these but nevertheless we thought it would thought it'd be fun to do a uh, to do a panel on that <laughs> oh man Gibby thank you for the the 27 months in a row yeah we still haven't done a two player run in 1975 so of course the thing you uh, have to consider about all this is that we're on the uh, we're on the west coast we're in Oregon so we have to to fly cross country to the east coast to uh, 
to get to MAGFest, and I hadn't been to the East Coast in, I don't know, I, maybe it was like sometime in the late 90s I was on the East Coast, I was in Atlanta in the late, the late 90s, but that was, that's not quite, well, that's close enough to East Coast, but, yeah, I just hadn't been to the, I don't really travel that much, so, outside of, like, Evo and shit, so I hadn't really been to the East Coast in a while, so. It was a good opportunity to, to meet a lot of people that uh, were East Coast based. But we, uh, man, yeah, our sleep schedules were, were so fucked. Because, like, the... <laughs> oh, man, I just noticed the image slideshow. Do I have the right slideshow up? I guess I do. So yeah, we ended up taking like a, a late flight on on Wednesday night. We took a, a red eye. It was a it was a direct flight, but we got there. Uh, we got to the we got to Dulles at like seven a.m. and I didn't sleep on the plane at all. So we ended up getting we ended up getting in the hotel at like eight a.m. on Thursday morning, and I just we just fucking crashed in the bed and slept for like four or five hours. Then we wandered over to the uh, the convention center. We actually weren't staying at the, uh, the Gaylord. We were, like, a couple blocks down at the Wyndham. But it wasn't, it wasn't too far. The walk wasn't too bad. Luckily, the weather wasn't too bad either. I heard there was, like, so much snow last year. Snow and ice that getting, getting around outside was a, a pain in the ass. But luckily, it was just sort of cool, sort of cold. So it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Thank God. So we finally end up getting to, like, the convention center at, like, 2, 3 o'clock, something like that. Get our badges, just kind of scope the place out. I think around around that that point, I was, like, just... Like, the arcade wasn't open yet, so I was just kind of wand wandering around. Went to, like, the, uh, the console area, saw where uh, the opponent and the rest of the fraud crew were, like, setting up their, uh, uh, their cabinet that runs, runs MAME and a lot of other stuff. And Jackie Chan and Fistle Fire was actually on the cabinet at the time, so sat down, played a couple matches. Opponent actually took a picture of me without even realizing it was me. That was pretty funny. And then we went to the the uh, Frank Cafaldi's uh, SNK 40th anniversary panel. Actually, it was more than SNK 40th. He was talking about all the all the games he did at Digital Leisure. And that was pretty cool. He showed the the entire intro to Fantasy. Actually, he showed the entire game of Fantasy, so everybody could uh, could enjoy that. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! The opponent or Digital Eclipse? Yeah, that's that's what I meant. Man, my brain is totally fucked. Thank you for those those gift subs, the opponent. Holy cow! So after the uh, after that panel uh, closed, the uh, the arcade actually opened at five o'clock, and that's that's where I spent the <laughs> that's where I spent the majority of my time at Magfest. Of course, why else would I would I not be at the at the arcade? And I'd heard I'd heard so many stories about about how good it was. So, and the first thing I see like right off the bat getting in there is that there's a a Beat Mania three. The final cab right next to a a DDR Solo 2000. I see that I see a Beat Mania 3 cab. I'm like, yep, I'm gonna be there for a while. And there was a Sinistar cab not not too far off from that too. Man, there was there was a lot of stuff in the arcade. There were uh, of course a shitload of music games that were pretty much being played the the entire time. There must have been like seven eight. DDR cabs, a few Pump It Up cabs, a couple 2DX Cannonballers, a couple Sound Voltex cabs, um, yeah, Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm, a couple Groove Coaster cabs, <laughs> like three Neon FM cabs. I got to play Girls Butts on a Neon, neon FM cab. Uh, nostalgia, uh, Cross Beats. There was a lot of, a lot of music games there, but. Also, a lot of other games. There were there a uh, 
uh, rows and rows of candy cabs with fighting games, shmups, a few more Neo Geo cabs, um, a lot of other random games like Demolish Fist and Azumanga Dio Puzzle Bobble. There was a lot of things to play there. They had, oh, oh, they had a Dance Maniac second mix. I hadn't, I hadn't gotten to play one of those in a while, and it was super nice and loud. Uh, oh yeah, Poppin' Stage EX. That cabinet fucking sucks. Yeah, there were, oh, there were a lot of stuff. There was a Solar Assault cab that was like only working the first day. And I did get to play it, and then it was broken after that. I mean, that that happens sometimes, you know. Cabinets kind of get damaged in the move, I guess. They had a fucking line for the F Zero AX cab. Like they had a, they had it like roped off. Like they knew there was going to be a line for F Zero AX. They knew. And yeah, there's there's so much I'm forgetting already. Like there were there was a lot of stuff in the arcade, and so I spent I spent a lot of time there. Oh yeah, and the uh, the cabs on the on the main stage that they had for some tournaments, they had a few a few Neo Geo cabs there. Some of them with with questionable joystick quality. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, the uh, the DDR Solar 2000. They actually changed it to DDR Fourth Mix Plus on like Friday or Saturday. But, it, like, it wasn't on free play. Like, they had to put credits in, and it kept giving CD-ROM errors. So, either way, the, that pad, like, wasn't that great. Also, I'm really out of shape for DDR now. But, yeah, hung out in the, in the arcade for a bit. Played some things on, like, Thursday night. There's another, another panel I was hoping to go to on Thursday night, but that got canceled. So, just kind of... Just kind of chilled... Chilled in the arcade. Did walk around a little bit to, to scope out the place. But of course, uh, our first panel, the fighting game panel, was uh, Friday morning at 9.30 a.m., which is a rough time slot. I'm not going to lie, it's a rough time slot. And I don't begrudge anybody that didn't want to wake up early and show up for it, because if it wasn't our panel, I probably wouldn't have woken up for it. But that's kind of what happens, because... Most of the panels at MAGFest are 60 minutes, but we actually applied for 90-minute panels. And when you do 90-minute panels, that kind of kind of limits the time slots they give you. So, so we got kind of kind of weird time slots for those those 90-minute panels. But I do do want to thank everybody that that showed up to to the 90-minute panel. Big thanks to It's Rain for for actually streaming it. And the the opponent recorded it, but I don't think he's uploaded the recording of that yet. He uploaded the recording of uh, the Mame Roulette live panel, but I'll get to that. The fighting game panel went pretty well. We had to we had to cut a, a game or two because we just we still didn't have enough time. The only real regret regret I have from the fighting game panel is Vicious Circle because I didn't see like DJ Tassigen's tweets about uh, about all the tech he'd discovered. And nobody knew anything for that game anyway. Like, there was just complete dead silence when that game came up, so. But either way, it, uh, that panel went pretty well. I was, uh, <laughs> I started laughing when I realized that, uh, Dragon Charles from, uh, Team Best From Now was there. And so I had to pull him up for, for Cal Taito, since, uh, <laughs> he knew how bad that was. Dragon Charles was a cool guy. I talked to him a, a bit over the course of the day. Because we end up, uh, we end up playing in some of the tournaments, so. And yes, we had a we had a line of people to to challenge the general, which was pretty hilarious. That was a that was a good way to to end the panel, I think. Yeah, I told him how much I I enjoyed that line about uh, uh, <laughs> blood warrior thing. But you shouldn't have a dude in this game. But yeah, I did uh did run into some other people on on Friday too. Besides, it's rain. That's found Belmont Legend pretty early, and we we hung out for a while. I'm gonna forget like everybody I met. Like I ran into so many people, so don't uh, don't be insulted if I if I forget anybody. 
did see, uh, did catch up with Doom Knight later when he was playing Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm. Oh yeah, met Executioner right after the, the fighting game panel too. Friday was a busy day. There were, uh, there were a lot of things I wanted to, uh, a lot of tournaments I wanted to enter on Friday. Uh, thank you, Mr. Radon, for the, for the resub. 18 months in a row. Because on, on Friday, there were uh, Breaker's Revenge and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters were happening at the same time at 2 o'clock. And I'm like, oh, fuck, how am I going to how am I gonna handle this? Luckily, the Breaker's Tournament went really quickly because it was single limb and they had multiple cabs for it. And they were able to... Uh, they were able to hold off my Tournament Fighters match until, like, the last round of... Uh, last match of the first round. And I think I I think I made it through Breaker's Revenge without losing a single game. I actually took that tourney <laughs> pretty convincingly. Ended up playing uh, Rithly in, I think, semifinals? Rithly, a.k.a. June Bob, and then played Dragon Charles in the finals. Right all the way. Got 20, 20 MAGFest bucks for that. And so immediately after winning Breakers, I had to, to run over and play... Uh, and play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. Keep in mind, I actually won Tournament Fighters at EVO. And I had to play June Bob, Rithly, first round, and I lost! <laughs> and the bracket was single elimination, so... <laughs> I got eliminated first round in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. Whoops. Thereby solidifying the fact that I'm a fraud in that game. I never did make it to the museum. Fuck. Like I said, Friday was a, a busy day. I actually ended up playing uh, uh, Charles to be more crazy after after the tournament, and, and he beat me too. So, yeah, I suck at I suck at turtles. Um, there was some other stuff I I missed on Friday. There was. Oh yeah, the other thing was that there was... I wanted to go to the Arcade Pit panel, but that was happening at the same time as uh, the opponent's Mystery Game tournament. And it was all uh, Mystery Games on... mostly on MAME. So I figured... It'd be kind of cheating if I if I entered that, but what the hell. How can I... how can I not enter this? What did I... Wait, what did I play first round? I think I played Garcia Incident first round in Superior Soldiers, right? And that was actually... Wait, maybe that was second round. Superior Soldiers Perfect Soldiers came up in in the Mystery Game Tournament, and I think Garcia Incident won the first game, and then I won the next two. It was just Sat... Sat blah, blah, blah. What's his name? Satan Sect. Satan Sect. It was just mirror matches of that, because his normals are stupid. Second round of the tournament... Uh, it was supposed to be Shaq Fu, which isn't a MAME game, it's actually, you know, Genesis version. But there were problems with the display thing, so I just started laughing and saying, Reroll it! Reroll it! And sure enough, it got re-rolled, and, and Chicken Farm came up. What the fuck? I had to play somebody in Chicken Farm. That's not fair. That's, that's so rigged in my favor. We actually got to bust out the, uh... The opponent actually made a custom Chicken Farm box for, uh... For just this occasion. Do I, have a, I don't have the pictures ready. Oh, there we go. Yeah, chicken farm. What the hell? And then Zookeeper came up right after that. It was like three minute score attack on Zookeeper. It's like, yes. I know how to play this. And then the finals was Angel Eyes. And the other guy just kind of was like, oh, no, I don't know how to play this. And luckily I knew how to do that, so... No, there wasn't enough time to do a 4 million point jump in, in three minutes of Zookeeper. Have some ticket. <laughs> that wise guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't bust out the Raya Infinite until, like, the last game. That... Luckily I had, uh, I had enough knowledge of that game that I can, I can get by on a mystery tournament. I'm sorry, man. So yeah, that uh, I ended up winning that. That was like the the second tournament of the day that I'd won. 
And then, of course, the uh, there was a Fire Sister Dynamite tournament happening at midnight. Yeah, I had to stay up until midnight to uh, to play some Fire Sister Dynamite. But I'm like, I never, whenever I want to play Fire Sister Dynamite, whenever I say, play me in Fire Sister Dynamite at Evo, nobody ever plays me. So I'm like, I have to stay up. I have to fucking enter a Fighter's History Dynamite tournament if it even if, if it fucking kills me. And uh, that went pretty well. I think uh, I got through that tournament without losing a single game in that too. But it was actually double elimination. It wasn't single elim like Breakers was. Thank God. And again, I ended up playing. Uh, I think Dragon Charles made it to the finals. Made it to grand finals. He was in winners finals and grand finals. But. Uh, I played a combination of Karnov and Ray throughout the tournament. Of course, the thing about playing Fire History Dynamite on cab is that when you use the Neo Geo button layout, it goes light punch, hard punch, light kick, hard kick, instead of light punch, light kick, hard punch, hard kick. So that's it always takes a, a little bit of adjustment. But yeah, I ended up winning like three three tournaments in one day. Also, there was this other competition that was going on in the arcade. There was this tournament called... The King of Cades, which was basically uh, score uh, score submissions on a few old 80s arcade games. There was uh, Pango, which ended up breaking, and uh, Tron, Dig Dug, Galaga 3, Junior Pac-Man, Mario Brothers, a uh, couple others. There were like eight games, including Pango, but the Pango cab kept resetting, so they had to take it out. And that like went uh, that tournament went for until like Saturday at midnight, and I ended up putting up top scores on all those except like Miss Pac-Man. That was like the only game I didn't have first on, so I ended up winning that tournament too. <laughs> that was like four tournaments that I'd won. Oh man, I hope Dragon Charles makes more uh, more videos. I do love the best from now videos. Yeah, Friday was Friday was a super busy day, so. I think we ended up, uh, ended up, like, super sleeping in on, on Saturday. Like, there was some stuff that was going on on Saturday morning that I missed. Also, there was a, a Windjammers tournament that I completely did not sign up for. Like, I didn't realize you had to sign up, like, super early because it was capped at 64 people, and they hit that cap, like, really early, so I didn't get to enter, enter Windjammers, but it turned out it would have... Windjammers was going to start, like, Saturday at 10 a.m., so, uh... Yeah, we ended up sleeping in on Saturday, because fuck that. There's supposed to be a Street Fighter Cross Tekken tournament, but I don't know if that happened. It was supposed to happen on, like, Saturday at noon, but I slept through that, too. I think I think we woke up at, like, probably around noon, maybe 1 o'clock. I was fucking exhausted. But there wasn't there wasn't too much in the way of tournaments on Saturday, but, Saturday, but there was uh, Jackie Chan and Fist of Fire. You know I was going to enter that. And there were there were some really good matches. I almost lost to uh I almost lost to June Bob again in in second round because once again Jackie Chan Fist of Fire was single elimination. And like he won the first game and I I was about to get eliminated but I just barely pulled a win out of my ass and came back and and won. That ended up being closer than, than Grand Finals was. Because, yeah, I played Vic Viper after that, and then uh, Martin Apollo 19999 after in Grand Finals. And I got a trophy for it. I got this... <laughs> it looked like a, a karate tournament trophy. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the, the trophy. Oh, there's the picture. There's the picture. I was wondering if that picture had been uploaded yet. Ha 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 ha. No, I... I didn't, uh... Slow Beef wasn't in any of the tournaments. I actually... I didn't get to... I only got to talk to Slow Beef once. He was, uh... He was busy. Yeah, that, that picture's pretty great. Because they were, like, uh, third place there was doing the Jackie pose, and 
Martin was doing that, and it's like, what should I do? And then I'm like, oh, yeah. Do the Jackie Chan laugh. Yeah, MAGFest was, was super busy. So, yeah, other than that, I just spent a... Uh, I spent a lot of time on Saturday in the arcade, of course. I think I ended up staying in the arcade until, like, 3 a.m., 3.30, playing more Beat Mania, playing uh, a lot of the other music games. There was actually, like, at one point, like, I saw the, the Ketsui cab just, like, kind of sitting there. Nobody was playing it. So I'm like, what the hell, I'll play some Ketsui. I don't remember how to play this. And, like, first credit I play, I did, I did really bad. And then second credit, I think I got a personal best. Like, I, I made it to the stage four boss. And I had 61 million, which was, like, way better than I did in that tournament. So maybe I need to start playing that again. But, yeah, the arcade was still, like, super packed. Like, even at 3 a.m. There were just so many people there. 24-hour arcades are totally legit. And then, of course, Sunday was the uh, kind of the, the cool-down day. Because everything everything ends early on Sunday, but the thing was, uh, our main roulette panel was Sunday at 2 p.m., which was, like, right about when, when MAGFest is ending. Like, a lot of people were already, like, you know, leaving their hotel rooms, going to the airport and all that, so... I'm pretty sure not everybody could make it for, uh, uh, make it for that panel, but, uh, yeah, we got to do a, a live and in-person version of, uh, of Mame Roulette. Boss 4, thank you for the, the big 27. And, yeah, the games that came up, not, uh, not all the games I expected to came up, came up. Heidi, why did you have to put Hoppy Mappy in there? I wasn't, uh... I'll be honest, I wasn't uh, entirely happy with how uh, the Mame Roulette live panel went because uh, there were things I forgot to, I kind of, I kind of forgot to talk about. I kind of, I didn't even like really plug my stream. Like I didn't ask uh, like to make sure like everybody who was at the panel like knew what Mame Roulette was. Like I didn't explain it too well. Also, thank you for the resub, Devil Ray. And, like, I didn't even, like, plug the stream. You know, if you like this, be sure to watch uh, twitch.tv slash lordbbh. I'll just chalk that up to me being, like, kind of nervous. Like, I shouldn't be nervous. I do these streams, like, regularly for, like, a couple hundred people. I should be able to, to handle perfect... Or p perfect. Should be able to handle public speaking, but I guess not. It's still... It's still kind of kind of nerve-wracking when you see all those... All those faces in the crowd. Carorius, thank you for the 27 months in a row. The big 27. That's too bad. I wish you could have could have made it too. The other problem is that uh, a lot of the uh, the audio on the games like seemed kind of low. Like when Batman Forever came up, I don't think like the uh, the spank me was loud enough. I don't know what else we could have done to get the uh, the game audio louder. There were kind of some some technical hiccups. But we did what we could. It was pretty loud. I th somebody commented that the uh, the audio on some of the games were, were, were fucked up. But... Will we do it again? Hell yeah! MacFest was a, was a really fun time. I am, I am super glad I went. Like, it was, it was just, it was just super cool, like, just, the amount of things going on there. Like, you just look at the schedule, and there's, like, so many panels, so many, so many rooms uh, of stuff going on. Like, there's, there's a little something for everyone, and it's just, it's just so cool seeing, like, all these, all these people with, like, interested in slightly different things, but all here just to, to hang out and have a good time. So, I am... I'm super glad I went. I will definitely be there again next year. Overwhelming is a really good word. Yeah, it's just... There's so much stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> what else can I say? 
Also, super big shout out to uh, to It's Rain for uh, not only recording and live streaming the panels, but giving uh, Heidi and I a uh, a ride to the airport on Monday. That that helped out a lot. Thank you, thank you very much, Rain. Also, bringing some some tasty cornbread on uh, on Sunday after the panel. I'm already forgetting which day was which. The last few days have been a blur. Alright, we're at the end of the game. I haven't been paying attention to a single thing that's been going on in this game. But yeah, I got to, uh... Got to play a lot of shit in the arcade, got to meet a lot of people. A-plus would go again. I should have made a a more a more precise list of everybody I met. Oh yeah, Tepid Snake. I met Tepid Snake. It's cool to see them make it a uh, make the trip across the the Atlantic for that. Uh, who else did I meet? I should have taken down notes for this. I didn't. In typical BBH fashion, I didn't. I didn't prepare for this stream at all. Oh yeah, Proton John. Proton John was a natural at Uncle Pooh. I'm so glad Uncle Pooh came up in the Mamerlet Live panel. Yeah, it was, it was so funny that Ray Maze came up first and then Shock Troopers came up later. I swear to God, we did we did not rig it in any way. The two-player arcade stick for Mystery Games, it worked great. I had uh I had no issues with it. There's plenty of room for both players. Nice and functional, can't complain. Um Yeah. <laughs> Man, I missed that Beat Mania 3 cabinet already. I was kind of bummed the Sinistar cab didn't save scores. That seems to be like a universal problem with Sinistar cabs. Oh yeah, I got bodied by SK and uh in Project Justice. SK was a, a tough man to track down. I hadn't seen him since, like, Evo 2010, 2011? Yeah, like I said, you have to... You really gotta put your body into to moving the stick on Thinistar, just because it's... It's kinda hard to, uh... <laughs> hard kind of hard to uh, make those precise movements. Hey, Sprite Mix, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Much appreciated, sir. That fucking Starcade kid, I hate that kid. That filthy liar. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things I forgot, but I'll probably remember them over the course of the night, because uh, we are here for Mame Roulette. We are going to do that. So perhaps uh, we should get that started, because I am I am very aware of what the game count is at. Oh fuck, I forgot. I completely forgot. I also discovered recently uh, when we were going through the uh, when Heidi and I were going through the game list to like uh, par down what we needed for for Mame Roulette. Like we were trying to find the uh, the best of the best. I realized that Cheyenne was on the list twice, so the game count is one game off. So we're not at 2295, we're at 2294. Oh yeah, we wanted best of best on the uh, the obscure fighting game panel, but it didn't... Uh, it ended up getting cut. 
like there was so much more we wanted to do but even even with 90 minutes there's still not enough how did Blockhole make it onto the, the live list? Uh, Heidi wanted it on there, so. I was like, alright. Yeah, we wanted survival arts in the fighting game panel, but uh, we kind of figured we had enough uh, digitized fighting games, I guess. And yes, Itinerant Soldier. The last main roulette did end up with a viewer's choice. It That was like three weeks ago. So not everybody who remembers, but yeah, the last the last viewer's choice was Virtua Cop, and I'm not gonna I don't really want to start the stream with another viewer's choice because I I did that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go straight through to 2300. And I know I just uh spent like 35 minutes rambling about Magfest, so we'll probably be probably be going a little later tonight. Just in case anybody accuses me of trying to Trying to stall too much to not reach 2300. So anyway, let's get this uh, let's get this show on the road. Nah, it's good to do roulette again. Star Guards, 1987, Valley Midway. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Actually, I got a better idea, Ghost Pilot. Let me make the uh, uh, the channel on the Discord open again. Because it's going to happen. If you're on the Discord, the channel should be publicly viewable again. I should be uh, all caught up on previous nominations. Okay, what... What was this game? Star Guards? <laughs> I heard you were going in on Golden Tea, Doom Knight. That's what Belmont told me. The Midway Sounds Good soundboard. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait. Is, is this... Is this twin stick? This is twin stick. Okay, hold on. It's a twin stick game and I haven't played it? What the hell? Ah, fuck, hold on. Everything's all... Mess of cords here. There we go. God, the stream is so unprofessional. Now let's get the, uh, the timer back up. Boop. Star Guards. Wait, that's the wrong... Get the energy. Is this... Is this metal black? Whoa, what the hell? What? What the hell? <laughs> oh man, it's Robongo. This does not sound good. Okay, hold on. I gotta restart this one more time. I plugged in the wrong thing. Yeah, this is one midway looking ass midway game. That is for sure. Boy, howdy. Afterburner font on the title screen? Oh yeah, that is does look pretty afterburnerish. Hold on, let me 
update the stream title. It's no longer MAGFest Recap. Nineteen eighty seven. Yeah, this came out two years after Space Harrier. Was that a Bubba Fett helmet? Okay. Does this have uh, any other buttons? Just start? It's possible start might do something. Okay. <laughs> Collect energy to stay strong. I like this already. Destroy the most squad leaders to gain control of a star. Gain control of four stars to earn a new weapon. Use button when lit to activate weapon. Okay, so start button does do something. Left joystick moves, right joystick fires. Fly together to explore the star sector. Press the flashing button and become a star guard. <laughs> Staying strong and healthy. Minmo. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to I need to remap this if I'm gonna use that. Okay, that might work. Oh oh my god. Wait, what am I collecting? Stars? What the fuck? Okay, where are the leaders? Why is there a magnet? Why is he holding a magnet? Am I supposed to do something with that? Huh. There's no like radar screen or anything, is there? Yeah. Flux has magnetic powers to pull energy toward... Oh, okay. He likes his magnet because it helps him stay strong. Sometimes it erases his favorite videotape. Oh, I see. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, wow. Uh, congratulations, Reg. Oh shit, 21 liters. Okay, wait. Oh, energy drains on its own? I'm pretty sure it drained without me taking a hit. He dead. Botoggle, thank you for the, uh, the full year. I picked a hard stage, didn't I? Where do I... Okay, there's energy. I was gonna say, where the fuck do I get energy from? There's 73 stars in this game? What the fuck? That's like Rampage World Tour length. Oh yeah, game name. I haven't streamed in like a week. <laughs> I've forgotten some things. How do I stream? How do I stream on the internet? Okay. There we go. But I took too many hits. Yeah, we, we saw that joke already. I was hoping they'd have some, some other material. <laughs> Live resub. Destination locked in. Thrusters engaged. What was that? Camel? The what? I don't know. I haven't gotten like enough stars to use that weapon or whatever, have I? What the fuck? I thought I was supposed to... Okay, no, I'm supposed to... I have no idea what's going on. There we go. 
Yeah, I'm just kind of pressing start every now and then, just, just to see if it does anything, but... Sure. They were really, really proud of that joke. They're going to show it to you after every stage. Every single stage. Oh, energy, energy! Get back here. So those things drop energy? Is that is that what's going on here? Wait, I didn't pull it in. So I guess you just hang around these things to leech energy? I don't know if you have to shoot them or not. Jeez. The hitbox on those, what the fuck? How are you supposed to dodge anything in this game? Did this game actually get released? It doesn't say it's a prototype. This, this smells like a game that was just like canceled at prototype. Who, who's actually played this in an arcade? Whoa. Your robot body has gone gone under the necessary changes to use a new weapon. Tangent can shield himself from enemy firepower. A nice weapon when times are rough. It only took me like three continues. Alright, cool. I My Pokemon evolved. No, Flux, be Flux evolved into Tangent. Woo! Yeah, I got a shield. Okay, so you evolve every four s stars. You're not picking up stars, you're... You're actually conquering stars. Man, this sucks. Oh, the shield uses energy. Okay, maybe that's a bad idea then. It's like, if you're going to take a hit, use a shield, I guess. Because you're going to lose energy either way. How are you supposed to dodge anything? Are you supposed to just, like, stay in one spot on the screen and let everybody come to you? I don't know if I should do, like, one more evolution and then call it quits, because this, this game sucks. Yeah, there's, like, not much reason to actually scroll the screen. Just let them come to you, I guess. God, you have, like, no range on this shot. Ow. Yeah, I couldn't use the uh, the shield at one energy. A nice weapon when times are rough. Man, this is awful. 29 liters left! Okay, fuck this. Yeah, I guess you're... competing to see who kills the most liters, but... 
When are you ever going to get two people to play this game with you? Even in 1987. Are they popping off? Yeah, I've had enough of this. Game over. Play again. What the hell was that game over music? <laughs> There's no high scores? No nothing? Nothing? I don't recall seeing a high score list on the attract mode. Hmm. All right. Get the energy. Grow strong and healthy. Wow. Maybe I should have been viewer's choice. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, moving on. All right, what do we got? Kick and run. You can kick, and you can run. Welcome back, Mamerlet. Back to, back to soccer games. Which I apparently don't have the correct ROM set for. There we go. Kick and run. Looking for that super goal. Whoa. PS4, what? PS4 stop error? I just realized my pad's still plugged in. All right, we'll just play this on pad, I guess. I don't think this has been played. There's so many soccer games. It's hard to it's hard to remember at this point. Japan, West Germany, Brazil, Italy, England, USA, Argentine, Argentine. And that's it. Whoa, whoa! This music's kind of hype. Okay. Game name. No, there's a Taito game. Okay. Please select your team. Uh, USA! Tweet! Oh, cheerleaders! Ah, those don't look like panty shots, though. They're wearing one pieces. Yeah, go for it, Ghost Pilot. Whoa, okay. Uh, what the hell? What the? Okay, I don't know what the buttons are. Am I supposed to... What? What? Oh, you hold the button down to do a longer pass. Okay. Goal! Everybody's jumping around. Yeah, this music, what the hell? This is some... This is some Taito music, I guess. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Everybody looks so pissed off. I forgot, you have to hold the button to do a longer pass. Super goalie, come on! What the? Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be another one of those soccer games where when you run diagonally, nobody can catch you. Which pretty much only happens in goal, 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 but... 
whatever. No, no, come on, come on, no. All right, let's see if I can. Oh crap! I got behind the goalie. How did I get that first goal? <laughs> he scrambles. He's trying to do like a bicycle kick, but... Wait, why do I kick right at the goalie? Tweet! High point getter. Vacancy. I was playing against Vacancy. Okay. Oops. I'm trying to kick it, like, around the goalie, but it doesn't let me. There we go. No! Man, the slides suck. Also, that was only half time. I just realized I'm still playing Japan. Oh my god, I can't slide tackle. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Computer just kicked it straight up and did nothing. Good job. I thought he was going to do, like, some super shot or something. Ah! Man. So as long as I timer scam, I should win, right? Run and wild, thank you for the eight months in a row. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh no, oh no! Hmm. This game's AI has some issues. Nice goal kick, idiot. Oh no! Wait. Wait, what? Wait, am I controlling the goalie? What the fuck? Wait. No, get back there! You need to get back to the goal! I didn't know you could do that. Yeah! Oh, that dude in the middle is so happy. Want a game? Now the goalie's flexing on everybody. USA versus Argentine. Fuck, how did I score that goal the first time? How far away was I? Probably farther. Yeah! Look at everybody just kind of bumps into each other. The goalies look like house painters, yeah. You can see that. I don't know what the computer's doing in this game. Thunk. Oh, super goalie. Nice. Going for that high point getter title. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I got outplayed. 
I got outplayed. Okay. What the? What? Yeah, you can just walk into the goal, apparently. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, I gotta... Shit. I gotta do some jukes here. Get the goalie to come out and then kick it around him. Man. Oh, uh, congrats, Reg. Congrats on being an uncle. Oh, crap. No, not again, not again! Fuck. So, yeah, you do control the goalie. Shit. My 2-0 lead. Fuck, this goalie's too buff. Didn't we get the cheerleaders for the last game? <laughs> ah, I was trying to walk it in. I feel like that might be a legit strat in this game. In which case, it's no longer kick and run, it's run and run. Yes, it is! This game is now run and run. Fuck. Shit! No, 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 no! Ah. Funk, funk. run. Oh, my, my other guy got in the way. I bumped into him. <laughs> You're being chased. Ah! Okay. I gotta figure out goalie manipulation strats. There we go. <laughs> wow, you can even bump into the ref. Fuck. Da -da -da -da. Whoa! I swear I just saw one of the defenders run through the net. Where did he come from? Oh no! Good job, idiot. Two. Want a game? Just a moment, please, until opponents select the team. The game is so polite. Okay. Oh, pff. yeah, kick it to nobody. That's good. What the? Uh oh. Yeah, most of these, like, soccer games, you don't actually control the goalie. The goalie's always computer-controlled, but in this game, you... What, what the fuck? No, goalie! I didn't realize I was actually controlling the goalie there. 
thought it would take over control for somebody else. Ah! Like, once you step into the box, the goalie goes after you. Yes, I have a, uh, a few nephews in California, but I haven't gotten to see them in a while. Oh, crap. Shit. Whoa, what the fuck was that? What? What the hell just happened? It's like it entered a time skip or something. What the? Oh, God, the computer's pissed. Yeah, it had to it had to get hard at some point, right? I mean, I can still theoretically get some of these goals. Like that. Do I have a list of games I've played in which VOD? I indeed I do. If you look at the uh there's a uh, a link in the uh title of the stream that links to the official Mamerlet spreadsheet with spreadsheet spreadsheet spreadsheet, which has a list of everything that's been played, if you look at the Alphabetical and sequential tabs. All the all the VODs are on YouTube, along with Twitch. I do highlight them and, and then put them on YouTube. Fuck. Do I get to continue? Do you get the full game on one credit? Whoa. I guess not. There's an army. What? Time Gal's there! Time Gal's in the crowd, like, several times. I didn't know that. Wait, that was only half time, though. Why did it... You don't even get to continue? Oh, maybe that was Roy from Operation Wolf. It was, like, some army guy. You don't even get to continue? <laughs> like, oh, you're... You lost the lead at halftime. You're never gonna come back now. So, game over, I guess. That's... that's pretty mean. <laughs> does, Fan does Fantastic Planet know that Time Gal's in this game? was actually kind of fun. I mean, it, it was janky, but... I don't think I've ever played a soccer game that, uh... <laughs> where just running the ball into the goal was a, uh, a legitimate strategy. So at least there's that. All right, what do we got? Trivia question series one. Oh, fuck. I haven't played this, have I? There's like a bunch of games with trivia in the name. Wait, I have played this. Episode 147. All right, well, we're going to reroll then. Bam. Galaxy. Oh, this is a laser disc game. 
which it should work in Daphne. Galaxy Ranger. Okay, so I gotta I gotta see if I have this working in Daphne first. I did try to to set these up ahead of time, but it's always a chance I forgot. Oh, this is also known as Star Blazer. Okay, uh, doesn't work yet. Uh, let me also let me take the capture down for that. Hold on, I can I can fix this. I think. Oh, yeah, that's not right at all. Okay, that should hopefully do it. Okay, so hold on. I have to. I think I have to edit the game name first. Game Galaxy Ranger. Now let's leave it as Galaxy Ranger. Uh, hold on. All right, is that the? Oh fuck! What are the controls for this? Uh, let me look at the controls first. Um. Whoa. Why won't it let me remap that? There we go. I'll just play this on keyboard, I guess. Daphne's really weird about handling joysticks, so... Hopefully I can play it on keyboard. Whoa. Yo, hold on. Almost ready. You got a picture? There we go. Oh, man. Whoosh. Oh, man, it's in stereo. That's cool. <laughs> it's totally not a model somebody built. Explosions. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I see. I think you get infinite lives for like six, 60 seconds and then your next death is permanent. This is still the demo, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A little loud. Okay. Let's credit up. Oh no, down and up are reversed.
Okay, I don't know if button two and three actually do any anything. Oh, I blew something up. Oh man, I blew up all three of them. Am I supposed to land here? No. Ah, oh, That's okay, I still got time. I don't know if you get an extend, though, for a certain score. I hope so. Okay, you get one extra life. These are some jump cuts. What? What? Okay. <laughs> it's just constant explosions. It's like that, uh... Uh, what was that game called? Surgical Strike? Oh, I get, maybe it was a wall. What? 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 Huh? What is going on? Jesus, slow down! Just keep shooting the center. I'll probably hit something. That looked like a double KO. Good grief. So can you continue or or what? You now have the option to continue from last scene. Okay. Wait, what's the continue button? Okay. I guessed right. That was like three explosions. Of, what? I didn't even hit anything there. It's just just blow. What, what the fuck is going on? What? Second loop? What? No, this looks like a new stage. Actually, I don't know. It's all the same footage. That doesn't feel like an ending. That was only like three minutes long. I mean, I know there's only like so much footage they could have for these, but like, you know, even Dragon's Lair and all that were a lot longer. How are you supposed to dodge that? Man, they didn't know what the fuck they were doing with laser disc games when those became a thing. Just find some footage, put some. draw a spaceship over it. We're good, ship it. It's possible the. the footage. Okay, wait. There is a clone of this. Let, uh, let's look at the clone. Because there is also Star Blazer, which it certainly looks like a clone. Oh, I need to set up the. Uh, oops. Okay, stop that. Make sure I have the frame file set up for that one too. Laser disc configure. Into the trash. It looks like it uses the same one.
Okay. Hold on one second. I don't think there's a capture up yet. Okay, hold on. Oh man, Iron Sheik 84. Thank you very much for the the twenty dollars and nineteen cents. Saying I hope you had a fantastic New Year's Eve with Double Ray. We did. Thank you very much. Thank you as always for your for your generosity, Shams. You are you've been a very, very kind to us. Very kind to the stream. Happy New Year to you too. Okay. Star Blazer. I don't know if this is any different. Whoa. Uh. Um. What? <laughs> yeah, this, uh. <laughs> there might be some emulation issues with Daphne. <laughs> Look at Star Blazer. Nah, just kidding. It's Galaxy Ranger. Just kidding. Boom, missing scene. Oh man, I gotta play Citiz Citizen X sometime. One of the best FMV games. Whoa. Was that new? Or did I blow that up early last time? This guy. Come on. <laughs> yeah, this kind of seems like the same shit. make it on the top seven. I wonder if this game was defaulted to 25 cents or 50 cents. Imagine spending 50 cents and your, your credit's over in like a minute and 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, thank God for extended play. Ow, that was loud. Okay, that thing is new. I don't know what it is, but that was new. Christ, stop, stop, stop. I'm lowering the audio. Hold on. Okay. I am tripping out. I can't shoot anything. Go into the light. Oh, man. Whoa, that's, that's new, I think. Or maybe I skipped it with one of the explosions. What the shit? What the... No, it changes the high score when you continue. Note that it says two continue games for 20,000. It did that on Galaxy Ranger, too. I'm just gonna stay in the center and keep shooting. You've repulsed the enemy, but others are on their way to conquer the earth. <laughs> I've repulsed the enemy. Should have taken a shower.
I don't know if you get another extend through points, though. Oh, okay, you can actually crash into the wall there. That's what happened. Whoa. I like how these explosions manage to blow up all three at once. Whoa. I'm still seeing new stuff, kind of. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I've seen enough of this. It's, uh... It's certainly a laser disc game, through and through. Not a very good one. But at least it's better than... Catch me, warrior. Catch me. <laughs> Star Blazer, nope, Galaxy Ranger. That 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 might be some weirdness with Daphne. I don't know. Oh man. There's still some Laserdisc games left that haven't been played yet. Like, I don't think Mach 3 has been played. And there's some other stuff in Daphne that... Oh, I should probably close this. Is Interstellar played? I don't think the Laserdisc... Co Wait, no, I think Cobra Command was played. Or maybe it was. Well, Super Don Quixote hasn't been played. Game that gives away the ending in the attract mode. But at least it's not, uh, at least it's not Eshazar and Milla. Huh. Is this even... This doesn't even count as a playable game, I don't think. Like, yeah, this, this loads up. But, okay. Okay. Unfit of fighting hardware. This machine was never completed and may exhibit strange behavior or missing elements that are not bugs in the emulation. Unknown fighting game, BB. So here's what happens when you... I have loaded this up before. Uh, I think... Yeah, there we go. So I'm... <laughs> I am not actually doing anything. So what you're seeing here, kind of a... It's kind of a sprite edit of uh avu from marshall champion like they were they kind of traced over a few sprites from marshall champion and i guess they were i don't know trying to come up with a a fighting game using marshall champion sprites as the uh, as the base and <laughs> not avu versus uh missing no So what's actually going on here? I'll just start the timer. See, again, I'm... I guess this is like an attract mode. I guess. Uh, 
And there we have... She's actually a, uh, a trace over of Bobby for Marshall Champion. They turned Bobby into a waifu. So nobody really knows much about, like, what this is. Like, what, uh, what this was going to be. Like, it said that it was on Fit of Fighting hardware, and Fit of Fighting was like a, uh, <laughs> a really, really bad ghetto bootleg of Art of Fighting. And there's, uh, uh, what's his name? Whoa, his face got all fucked up. I think these are the only only three characters that have like anything remotely fixed. Yeah, Xana or somebody. Yeah, this wasn't in the panel because this really isn't a playable game. Like, this is just a a really weird demo. Although I haven't credited it up yet. So I don't know where this was found. Like, it's been in MAME for a while, actually. But yeah, this is this is the very definition of cursed. This is completely cursed. Uh, I think we reached the end of that. All right, let's reset it. So I think you can you can credit up. Uh, wait, oh, this is character select screen, or not? Uh, whoa. There was some text. I didn't see it. Because I was... I'm speeding up the emulation just because... Whoa. Yeah, they, they totally ripped, like, the fonts from Marshall Champion. Because they, they recognize that Marshall Champion was such a great game. <laughs> the world needs a needs a bootleg of it. I don't know if I made it to the character select screen or not. I don't know what's going on here. This is just... This is the most cursed thing in MAME. Oh. Oh, no. It went back to the this demo. I don't know. Can I really count this as a game played? I mean, nothing really happens with it. But I did leave it in the list. Uh, service mode, dip switches. There's dip switches. Why would you be able to adjust this much time? These might be copyovers from Marshall Champion, now that I think about it. Is there a six-button variant? No, there's not a six-button variant in Marshall Champion, is there? All right, let's see if there's a service mode. Um, apparently not. Service mode does absolutely nothing. Yeah, there might be some semblance of a service mode, but you can't see anything. It's just a black screen. Let's 
So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I don't know if this should get added or not. Because, I mean, it's... Eh, whatever. It is, it is a weird oddity to show off, at least. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Double dribble, which I only have in the directory to, to load the, the National Anthem. We already played that. Reroll. Gallop Racer 2. Did I play this? I played one of the Gallop Racers, didn't I? I played Gallop Racer 3, but not 2. Okay. Sounds good. Probably going to need a pad for this, maybe? Oh, man. Not Mordecai. Thank you very much for gifting a sub to Cool Coyote. That is uh, very kind of you. Nah, we're not going to count it. Most everybody said, nah, don't count it. <laughs> yeah, there was uh, a lot of horse stuff in, in Rain's car. We had to move some stuff aside to... To, to fit our bags into, into our car. We didn't actually see any horses, though. Yeah, good, good reminder. I need to... Gallop Racer 2! Wow, that's loud. How was MAGFest? Watch the uh, beginning of this VOD. I talked all about it, but MAGFest was great. Oh, is this... You can enjoy a match race with two horses! Two horses. Okay, there's no analog, thank god. I can play this on stick. Bubble. A groove! You can play a bison soccer or blanca team. War Mary. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. All right. One P mode. Whoa! What, what are these jams? How are you supposed to have enough time? I'll be Agar. First stage. Oh, there's a secret horse. <laughs> what was that? Just keep on rolling. Okay, I have no idea what the buttons are. Ready? Go. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on. I guess button three <laughs> sends you out of the gate. Or it could be War Mary now. And button two changes your camera angle, I think. Just keep on rolling. Ready? Go. No. Okay. What? Or maybe it was button one. I don't know.
Whoop. Does button three actually do anything? I'm not sure. Content creator, thank you for the, the 21 months in a row. Much appreciated. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Ask view. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, I'm... I'm gassed. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Lupinoni. Glad you enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was quite the panel. Fuck. Okay. It's all because I had that bad start. Just mash the buttons. What? It happened again! What button am I supposed to press to get out of the gate? Man. Uh, the opponent's already uploaded the panel to YouTube. It's on his uh, YouTube channel. He posted a link earlier. Oops. I, I don't want to be S. Brian. It'll be Bubble. Okay, so I have no idea how you're supposed to go out of the gate. Okay, I just mashed and it worked. Whoa, I don't want that view. I don't want ass view either. Yes, 1P bubble. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, all the... All the MAGFest panels get recorded by... The, uh, the MAGFest staff. Like, they, they come up and ask you, are you okay with, uh with having this recorded. But I don't know where they where they post them. Like I'm sure they get posted like sometime sometime after. Magfest YouTube channel. Makes sense. But yeah, it was was recorded, was streamed. Okay. Oh Fuck. No. Funk, 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 funk. Whoa. Is top three good enough? It is not. I mean, it is the road to victory. First stage. Yeah, I really didn't get out to uh, enough panels at MAGFest. Because there were, like... There were things I wanted to go see, but... There were, uh, like, tournaments and stuff going on that I wanted to enter, so... <laughs> Ready? Go. Too many things going on, not enough time. But yeah, it was it was a great convention. Almost too much stuff going on. Third arrow means he likes to be towards the back. Okay. Well, fuck it. I'm going for the front. I have a pretty good lead already. Just have to hold it. Maybe the game ranked down because I continued. Oh, right to left. Uh oh, I'm gonna get gassed. 
Oh no. Oh no. No! No, 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 no! Okay, so... If front means to be in... Fourth one means be in front, so... I gotta find a horse that does that. Yeah, maybe there's maybe there's drafting. I'll be fabulous. First stage. I can't even clear one stage of this. Fabulous player. Ready? Go. Oh god. All right, yeah, maybe I can, maybe I can slipstream. This is actually a different course. This one's shorter. Okay, that didn't work out. Get that transparent ass cam. Man. Alright, let's try... Try H Amazon. First stage. Just keep on rolling. Just keep on rolling. Huge Amazon. Why would you want Ask Him? I mean, if there's no skirts involved, why would I want to up behind the back cam? Funk, 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 funk. Fuck. I can't win a single race. I'm never going to reach the secret horse. That secret Dural horse over there. First Just keep on rolling. Just keep on roll. Ready? Go. I feel like I, I need to get that early lead. But I can't. I'm already flashing red. No, I'm not gonna cheat. I don't even know how you would cheat other than like infinite stamina. I can't I can't get in on the inside corner.
bug. Man. Okay, one more try. I'm gonna try somebody else. I'm gonna go back to a groove. First stage. Oh, this is a long one, isn't it? Ready? Go. All right. Maybe got too much of a lead. Oh, this is a really long course. Oh, shit. Oh, man, you gotta pace yourself. Okay. I can't slow down. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna have enough stamina for this. Yeah, my horse isn't in the preferred part of the pack, so it's losing stamina, I think. Checkpoint. Why is there a checkpoint? Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Block this motherfucker. Nope, 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 nope. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that went from first to tenth. Fucking rip. It's randomizing like which which track you get first. Cause that was a twenty four hundred. The other one was a sixteen hundred. It's like they're picking picking a course specifically to, to fuck you up. Alright, I I I tap out. Horse racing is not for me. Do you submit? Nah. Actually, the stakes winner games are not that difficult. I think I once you see the original stakes winner. Enjoy a match race with two horses. <laughs> the way some of these horses get drawn in looks really weird. Finish. Is there like a, a high score list? Nope. Racer, two. All right. I tried. I don't know if Gallop Racer 3 went any better. Considering that was all the way back in episode 11, apparently. The fuck am I supposed to remember that? Okay, 2298, yeah. All right. Twenty-two ninety-nine. Route sixteen. 
This game sucks. Wait, is this a game I'm thinking of? <laughs> Jack Rabbit was right there, too. Yeah, this piece of shit. Which is now on the Switch for some reason. Grinkers actually has a cabinet of this. Bomb. Oh, man. I haven't even started yet. This is all a demo. Okay. Oh, my pad's still plugged in. All right. Well, I can play on pad. One button. Wait. Wait, what? Did my controls get reset? I think they did. How did my... Whatever. Okay. Push only one player button. So you have to find all the money bags. And it's like kind of... It's like a free-roaming Rally X, kind of. Oh, there's a speed up button. The fuck is that thing? This kind of reminds me of Venture, the way uh, it has like an overhead view. And that game sucks. Oh, there's oil over there. The oil turned into money. Oh, the oil is not good. The oil slows you down. Can I get in? I can't get in that way. Yeah, this music is pretty obnoxious. Oh yeah, you run through fuel fast when you use demo. Shit, where am I going? Oh, this guy! Fuck off! Yeah, juke him. Oh no, this guy's coming over here too, though. Okay. Oh, there's a flag. Turn everybody into money. So I have one more. I did it. And now another stage, more money bags. So they just changed the locations on where everything is. I wonder if Route 16 Man needs money bags to live like like Bagman. Oh no! What? They came back really fast. No oh, oil, oil. No oh, oil supply. This game sucks. Puff. So that little Pac-Man dot changes what the, the item turns into, I guess. And they decided to just fuck me over there. 
Oh, this wasn't crap meme. I'm glad I didn't play it. I am so glad I skipped that turning. No offense. I am so glad I skipped that turning. Uh oh, I'm dead. Crash. Game over. They made the word bubble a game over. Um. Yeah, the Pac-Man dot changes it. So you could hope to get a power-up and then bomb. <laughs> nice demo. Oh man, Garcia, thank you for the the full 12 months in a row. Good to see you again at MAGFest. Alright, um... Yeah, that's it. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> Fuck this game. Yeah, it's like a two-second demo. Alright. Well, that was game 2299. Which means, of course, we are up to a, uh, a viewer's choice. It is a game divisible by five. And it just happens to be game number 2300. How about that? So first of all, let's let's see what we got for 2300. Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh. Stop that timer. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. I thought I updated the count. Oh, whatever. So we got bottom of the ninth baseball game, obviously. Hebereki no Papoon, that's a puzzle game, right? Neo Bomberman, Bomberman the Neo Geo. Dam Busters by Southwest Research, my favorite company. Uh, Strategy X. I don't remember what this is. Vapor Trail, that's a vertical shmup. Solar Assault. I heard this... I just played Solar Assault for the first time at MAGFest. I heard, like, it still kind of has problems in MAME, like it would crash at some point. I haven't, like, tested it to see. But that is something to keep in mind. Playball, a Williams prototype. I've actually played this. It's not bad for a prototype. I kind of like it. World Stadium. What is with all the baseball games? There are so many baseball games here. Star Castle, Cinematronics, Vector Game, I think. Night Raid, that actually, that's a, another vertical shmup. Zor. It's not Burger Time hardware. What the hell is Zor? Williams Multi Game, a hack made by Clay Calgill, who actually worked at Ground Control. Uh. I don't know how I would count that, because, like, it's just a collection of a bunch of Williams games. It's basically a, uh, so you can put it in a cab and have, uh, Joust, Robotron, Sinistar, all those together. Cobra Command, the Laser Disc Cobra Command, which I just mentioned hadn't been played yet. And SD Fighters, which is a lot like, uh... What was the other one? Cute Fighters? Or whatever it is. They're like... It's a super deformed fighting game from Korea. So... Oh, 
Because Pan's got the pole. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, that'll be the official poll for game number 2300. I think I'm going to stand up for a second and go to the bathroom. And then I'll do the regular intermission shit. I said my New Year's resolution is I need to take more breaks on stream so I didn't get burnt out. So let me let me find something real fast. I still have this third strike directory open. I guess I can do that. Ah, it's <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll put the poll link in chat again when I come back. It'll be a short break, don't worry. Nope. Nope, not that. Nope, nope. Where's my break screen? There we go.
Okay. This is... I can let that play out. Alright, let me put the link in chat one more time. Got maybe another minute, minute and a, minute and a half. Time. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I forgot to make a save state for this. Actually, I'm on a different version of MAME now. I'm actually on version 205 that just got released like a week or two ago. I think it was a couple weeks ago. Wanna win tickets? Then play Chicken Farm! Good eggs in the frying pan. Chicken eggs into the nest. Rotten eggs into the All right, man. I actually <laughs> got to play this on a. Wait, hold on. Got to play this on a three-button setup. Yeah, I don't think my controls are set in 205. What the hell? Oh, and my pad's plugged in. That's fucking everything up. All right, I'll I'll fix that later. Also, shoutouts to having control problems at <laughs> at the Mamerlet live panel. <laughs> Had to set up shit all over again. That sucked. Oh, wrong twist. I should have made Proton John play it. Well, it was totally up to RNG whether it would get pulled or not. I'm kind of sad this didn't this didn't show up, but somehow Ripper Ribbit got got pulled. Like I said, it was it was random. Oops, that chicken's dead. Although part of me wanted to like part of me wanted to rig it so that we could get this in Bongo, but but I would not rig it. Wow! Wow! You have some tickets. <laughs> Hoborg, thank you for the the 100 tickets. Unfortunately, I fucked it up by getting the jackpot. Have some tickets. Thank you, Axel Belmont, for the tickets. Want to win tickets? Then play. Six plus eleven is twenty-two. Good eggs in the frying Math checks out. Anyway, winner of the poll. I shouldn't be surprised. The Laser Disc Cobra Command is the winner with 25% of the votes. 19% for Neo Bomberman, 17% for Vapor Trail, 8% for SD Fighters. Oh yeah, at the Mamorlet live panel, Heidi had an idea to like to do a straw poll for everything that was that was there on that final list, but uh it would have taken too long to set up, and I wasn't sure, like, how well, like, everybody's reception was going to be, because there was, there was no free Wi-Fi around there, so. Tried to do it by applause, but even then it was, it was, like, too close to call. Part of me still thinks that we should have done Fantasy at the end instead of Growl, but, eh. It is what it is. Okay, so back to Daphne. Boy. Let's see here. Cobra command. Configure it. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted to do shark attack also. I really wanted to do shark attack, but the way I figured it, Growl was a, a two player game anyway, so it could get a people a couple people up on stage to play it, so that was nice. Still refusing to take my uh, my joystick inputs, huh? All right. I hope this goes okay on on keyboard then. Okay. Let's see if this actually loads. All right, we got picture.
Okay. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Let me pause it for... I'll change the game name after this. But I'm gonna have to take the capture down to do that. Eighties anime. Three two three. Look at that cool car, USA. I'm still lost in this dang forest. They didn't just give away the ending, did they? <laughs> okay, we looped. Okay, let me take this down for just a second. Man, I hope they don't, uh, they don't do anything. It's, it's possible. I got a, uh, not a copyright strike, but a copyright notice that, that blocked, uh, uh, I remember Cliffhanger, the, the loop in the third game? That actually got blocked entirely on YouTube. I think the archive for that is only viewable on, uh, on Twitch. Or no, I had to cut it out of the YouTube archive because of that. Alright. Mission 1. I've never actually played this, by the way. Oh god. Uh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I do not want up and down inverted. I need to restart this. That is not gonna do it all. Yeah, I have to exit and then restart it. Okay. Ah, there we go. So you're not actually flying around, you're just... Find the target indicators and then shoot those. Oh no, the Twin Towers! But I don't know what the missiles do. Go to oh, you do have to... You do have to fly around. I'm really there. Whoosh. Turn left. Why did you fly so close? It, what? What? I was turning left! Is it because I let go for a second? Right 
Oh my god, it's like... It's like, uh, what's it called? Road Avenger. You can't let go of the, the direction for even a second. Or even one frame. It's one of those. This, this feels more forgiving than Road Avenger, though. That game was stressful. We're in the canyon now, sure. Oh. Huh. They're in the canyon now. Drive them out. Drive them out. Okay, am I, should I just be firing missiles and guns at everything? It doesn't seem like there's a, a downside to firing missiles. What? Oh no! Is this another game with no continues? Okay. Okay, okay. I need to check something. I need to go back to the configuration screen. Infinite lives cheat! Yes. Thank God. Stage order sequential or random? Huh. I wonder what random does. Whoa. Okay, so I had to do the same thing on Road Avenger. It actually had an infinite lives cheat. Okay, Captain. Let's knock him out of I should have checked that first. Let me just take a death to, to make sure this is working right. Okay, yeah. Head up. You don't actually have to go up there, though. Oh, I see. You can hold down the button, but it overheats. Okay. You don't have to mash it. Oops. I did this right the first time. Oh my god. Oh god, this is gonna be like Road Adventure, isn't it? There's gonna be some some ridiculous checkpoint, isn't there? I shot him. What the fuck? You have to you have to memorize everything. Oh god. How did I do this all right the first time? I play this on keyboard, too. Daphne is really stupid about recognizing joystick inputs. Jams up. Just start, start shooting anywhere you think you see an enemy, I guess. Oh, turn right.
Okay. <laughs> nice checkpoint. Man, I want a 3-2-3 car. Okay. Turn left. FX2000. Left or right! Left or right! Left! I mean, it should at least be a little more forgiving than Road Avenger was in regards to dodging stuff. I think. Okay, where's that, that bitch-ass tank that got me a lot time? Never mind, that, that guy got me. Oh boy. That guy. Alright, progress. What? Uh-oh. Okay, good. Oh, Lord, give me the checkpoints. So what are the the stars on the on the HUD? Like I think that's related to damage, but it just like once I take a hit, it just maxes out like that. What the fuck? How precise do you have to be? No, there's only two buttons. There's no bomb button. And firing the missiles doesn't, like, do anything to that, I don't think. What the hell? That one is so fast! I know that thing is there, and it's still getting me. Okay. There, I got him. Now what? That should be a checkpoint. Oh. Goop, goop. Oh, they tricked me. Didn't give me much time on that at all. Oh, perfect. Yeah, like, turn left. What? Goop goop. All right, how many missions are there? Like seventy-two. Billion. Wow, that was close. Fuck. 
That wasn't close. I'd be doing differently there. Enemy fleet in the Pacific. Let's sink them. Okay. Ah, he juked me. Okay, checkpoint. God, as long as this game doesn't have an Eshes and Milla checkpoint at the end, nothing was as bad as that. I still have nightmares. They all blew up. Nice. Birdland. Yep. Next. Oh man, Easter Island heads. in here. I'm waiting for the Moy heads to start shooting at me. They start shooting rings at me. I wasn't sure I shot that thing. Get all the angles of the head. All the angles. <laughs> Death by Moy. Oh god, where am I? This fucker moves around too much. Yeah, we fucked them up. Good job. Meanwhile... Oh! There were two of them. I didn't know which one to go for. You have to have your indicator there in advance to actually destroy these things in time. Left or right? Left or right? Oh, he, you cheater! 
He's on the right, and then the indicator shows up on the left. Well, luckily, I hit the checkpoint, apparently. They don't give you too many indicators that let you... or make you move a certain direction. Like, this has mostly just been shooting. It's every now and then, it's like, go left, go left. What? Imagine having to do this with just four lives. Three plus an extra, and no continues. Having to go through all this shit over and over again. War Final Assault works, but I think it's a little too slow for me. Last I checked. I don't know if it's gotten any speed boost. Oh god. What? What was that? There was one on the right and then one on the left. Okay, luckily... I started right after that. Okay, sure. Hold it there? Why? Uh... Hold it there... Oh god, I'm back here. Um... Hmm. Okay. Take a left. Take that tank. All right, Skimmer. Hold it there. There we go. Jeez. Oh, uh, that was an awkward cut. Oh, no. Please be a checkpoint. Please be a checkpoint. Please be a checkpoint. God damn it. Still stuck in this dang forest! Why do I have to hold it there? Why can't I just get out of the fucking forest? That guy! Man. Okay. Okay, the next one's right here. Ah. It's not a... I thought it was going to be that thing in the base. I didn't think there was going to be a turret on the... the wall right there. Okay, luckily that was a good checkpoint. Oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Thank God for the infinite lives glitch. Or not glitch, cheat. Yeah, that thing just pops up out of nowhere. Fuck off, game. Oops. I let go of down for like one frame and that was... A bad idea. Okay. Okay. 
I'm at a good checkpoint, at least. Skull and crossbones. Yeah. All clear. Terrorist in the ruins. Watch the planes. Was there a scream? I didn't hear it. Maybe it was me screaming like a girl. I wonder if that was a holdover from the Japanese audio and they didn't, like, cut it. Oh, oh, come on! I like that me crashing is what killed me, even though I, I got shot. That was oh man, where are the fucking checkpoints? What? Okay. I'm I'm still not sure like how long you have to keep the indicator on an enemy to actually kill it. Like do you have to be firing the entire time? What what, what was that? Okay. Or did the, does the gun just do nothing and you have to use missiles the entire time? Like, I still don't understand this. That is so cheap! You can't let go of holding up or unless or else you crash, but that, that guy comes up, like, immediately after, so you have to have the timing down. Okay, this is... This might be reaching Road Avenger levels of frustration at this rate. There we go. Please be a checkpoint. For the love of God. Please, please, please do not make me do that shit again. Oh, thank God. What the fuck? Okay. That was really fast, too. Um, yeah, jump cut, and then another enemy just shows up. Thanks. Oh, what the fuck? It's so fast now. Even though I memorize where these things are, it's still really fast. Just never stop firing, because you never know when there's going to be some jump cut. Oh my god. Okay, 
Okay, jump cut. Oh my god, okay, so that one's like on the right. And then there was another one on the right, like, right after, too. I was firing the entire time at the crosshair. I don't... I don't know what this game is expecting of me. Like, what am I supposed to be doing differently? I'm on the indicator. I'm firing my gun. I'm firing missiles. What, what, what do you want me to do? My crosshair was clearly inside the indicator. What do you want out of me, video game? That one is so cheap. Okay. Oh, thank God. Well, yeah, it goes without saying that this game is less fun than Badlands, because, I mean, that's not really fair. Badlands is a beautiful disaster of a video game. I would definitely rather be playing Badlands right now. Even if it means having to go through the, the bullshit town of death in Badlands. This stage actually seems easier than the previous one. Until that. Okay, where am I? I think it was right there at that point. Okay, good. Uh, that's kind of unfair. The explosion was covering up where the uh, the helicopter was, so I didn't know where I needed to to have my crosshair. Uh. Yeah, look at that shit. Ah. And now the indicator's just flying all over this place. Murdered so many helicopters, at least. Up ahead, Birds! Down to the river. Invincible birds. Okay, we're going back to the forest? No! Hold it. At this point, I would, I would expect the birds to be an enemy. Actually, no, because this game is like nothing but helicopters and occasionally a tank. Damn, why was stage six so hard compared to everything else? been pretty reasonable. Uh, 
Oh no. Well, that one tricked me. Damn, that was a big explosion. Okay, three helicopters and a tank. Ah, they're getting tricky. I'm ready for you now. Boy, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Other than that one tank. Tanks in the desert. Use the missile. Wait, how do we end up in the desert? What the? That indicator was like nowhere near where the enemy was. What the hell was that? That totally didn't line up. Yeah, maybe this is Egypt. Pipeline! Uh. Okay. Checkpoint. Yeah, checkpoint. Whoa, what? What? Did I black out? What just happened? Oops. I thought I was far enough up, but I guess not. At least we can see that great transition again. What is going on? No, I did not set the stage order to random. Okay, good. Checkpoint. Am I at the Death Star? What's... The pipe! The <laughs> pipe. Wait, they put a checkpoint right before the... Oh, God. Approaching terrorist main base. Terrorist main base. Okay, is this the last stage, then? I was gonna say, I was, I was thinking the mission counter was gonna be single digits, but we're at mission 10 now, so I don't... I don't know! Oh my God, that's bullshit. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh my god, you gotta be so fast on this. Mm, oh my god. Oh, that's not a checkpoint. Fuck. Oh god. Left, right, left, right. Oh, 
Oh no, 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 no. Please be a checkpoint. Please be a checkpoint. Watch, they disable checkpoints because it's the last stage. Okay, thank god. I was gonna say, I shouldn't say thing. Oh my god. Yeah, these points, you have to, like, know where the enemies are ahead of time. Just make sure your indicator is there, because it's so slow. Oh my... I knew it was there, too! I see. Like, he fucking moved. <laughs> Reg, this is a bad time to be asking questions like that, but yes, there will be sub this week. Oh, crap. At least I'm at a checkpoint. Imagine if this didn't have checkpoints and you had to do the entire level over. I don't think I would go through it. I think I would give up. <laughs> what is with this flying? Missiles. Oh my God! They really did give away the ending in the in the attract mode. They really do give away the ending. What the fuck? Wait, what? Huh? What? Oh, I have infinite lives on. So now I'm, I'm I'm stuck in purgatory, I think. But it says I have zero lives now. So yeah, I I guess I can't end the game. End. Whoa, I'm in the minus world now. What the hell? So I can't get to the the high score screen. Well, I can reset, I guess. Man, I can't believe they give away the ending in the attract mode. Why do laser disc games always do that? Well, I guess it's just this and Super Don Quixote. Maybe Road Adventure did it too. The original game loops back to stage one. Maybe the uh, the infinite lives glitch just fucks it up and it doesn't send you back to level one. Imagine getting so good at this that you could actually loop it. Legit, without the infinite lives glitch. Fuck that. Okay, at least this wasn't this, uh... 
there were some tough parts in this, but even with the infinite lives glitch, it still wasn't uh, as stressful as Road Avenger or Esh's Aaron Milla. Thank God. Thank fucking God. I don't think Thayer's quest works in MAME or Daphne. Anyway, ah, uh, that makes it official. Cobra Command was game number twenty-three hundred. Thank you, Everlasting Sponger, for the the one hundred tickets. Very kind of you. And so, since it's uh, since I was game 2300, this was the, uh, like I said, this was the entire reason I had to, uh, I had to put off roulette for a few weeks, because we needed to, to wait to have a, uh, a good weekend to actually do the main roulette viewer's choice extravaganza. I needed to wait until the holidays calmed down, until MAGFest was over, so. It is official, this Saturday I will be doing a supersized stream of, uh, of nominations for anything that hasn't come up yet in roulette. I know it's getting it's getting harder and harder to to think of games that haven't been played yet in roulette. But if you do have one and you do want to see a certain game nominated, just uh it would definitely help to toss it in the extravaganza nominations channel on the Lord BBH Discord just so I can better keep track of stuff. I will, of course, remind everyone that if uh, uh, you can't think of a nomination, that is fine. Everybody is always welcome to watch these streams. I do not require anybody to, to nominate a game. I still can't get over this attract mode showing the ending in the... Uh... <laughs> Man, what the hell? So we will be doing a, uh, uh, yeah, a long stream on Saturday, finishing the extravaganza on next Monday. We can finally get back to Monday episodes of Roulette, since Mondays have been all fucked because of the, uh, the holidays lately. I know today's a Tuesday. We had to do Roulette on Tuesday, but, uh, next week we can get back to Monday streams. Thank, thank God. I know, uh, I know folks have been, been missing, missing these streams to start off the week, so. Oh, wait, Thayer's quest is in Daphne. Oh, maybe it does work. I see it in the game list now. Yeah, whatever. Let me update the game counter. Uh, 2300. Of course, the real problem is with the with the whole Monday thing is that uh, my birthday is in like three weeks, and my birthday falls on a Monday this year, and I don't know if I want to do roulette on my birthday. Last year, I did some 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 crazy random stream on on a Sunday. But I'm not sure what the plan is just yet. Yeah, maybe I'll get Devil Ray over here and we'll play some stuff. I mean, I honestly don't, uh, some tickets. 
try. I I honestly try not to make a big deal about my birthday. I I always try to keep it low key. But now that I'm str now that I'm streaming so much, it's like whatever. I can spend it with you guys. X seventeen. Thank you for the the two hundred thirty tickets and Mycophobia with the uh, the gift sub to Fighting Polygon team. Much appreciated. That is uh, very kind of you. Exactly, BMF. I'm just... <sighs> Thank you, Probable Cause. It's not for a few weeks yet. I'm, <laughs> I'm not there yet. I could get hit by a bus before my, my next birthday. Anyway, let's move on with... Uh, with roulette. Super Speed Race. 1979 Midway. It was a driving game I meant I really liked. Uh I have no idea what that could have been. Oh, no sound. Mm. Whoa. Poof! <laughs> Good demo. Oh, this looks like Monaco GP. This looks exactly like Super Monaco GP. I'd play some Eurobeat if it wasn't if it wouldn't get my VOD muted. Positional V on? Is that the... Maybe I can do that. Also, maybe I can just use arrow keys for this. Yeah, this is very much midway just cloning Monaco GP, I guess. Okay, I think we're starting. Wait, did the credit go in or not? Okay, yeah, that's me. Vroom! Whoa, you go fast! Oh, God. Yeah, I assume it's like Monaco GP where you have to hit like 2,000 points or something to get extra lives after time runs out. Ugh. Ugh. Oh god, it even has the ice stages. It's... I didn't start my timer. I'm going to assume 2000, well, 2000 is the uh, the cutoff for extended play. Just because that's what it is in Monaco GP, I think. And I'm sure they cloned it. Yep, I was right. Ah. You lose speed so fast when you step off the accelerator. It's like I'm just kind of alternating and tapping it. Fuck. Yeah, this game is super fast. Oh, they don't give you lives, they just give you an extra 20 seconds. Ah. Yeah, this is actually a lot more limited than Monaco GP. Game over. What are the dip switches? That's it, huh? I'll play I'll play one more credit. Ugh. 
Whoa. Okay, yeah, definitely don't use analog on this. Oh. Like, I have to just keep tapping the accelerator. If I hold it down, I'm going to crash into everything. Man, probable cause. All those times I drove you out to Versus, and this is how you repay me. Not cool, man. Shit. Uh... God, you lose speed so fast. It's the same problem I have trying to play Spy Hunter in MAME. At least the computer cars like stick to patterns, like they're not random. They always go the same speeds. Oh, I did beat it. Barely. Eh, there's really not much else to say here. It's not bad, for what it is. Yeah, another game where the demo just fucking eats shit over and over. Love it. Sorry, I needed... I needed something to fill the void of silence. And the cross sword's heartbeat always fills that niche nicely. But yeah, the game actually, I assume, used a, an LED display on the cabinet. So MAME just simulates it. Why? Because Monaco GP did the exact same thing. So did Turbo, for that matter. All right. Super speed race. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I can't remember ever seeing a cabinet of this. Alright, what else we got? We still got some... Tic Tac Trivia? Oh. Really? Tic Tac Trivia? I can't escape trivia games. Trivia, 1985 Merit. How long is it testing? There we go. Oh god, what is that thing at the bottom?
Winner plays the lightning round. Oh god, it is Hollywood Squares. <laughs> Ports. Entertainment. Hunks and Honeys. General interest. The years. Sex Trivia 3. <laughs> Love for Sale. Oh, God. Twisted Sex. Oh, boy. One player versus the professor or two player competition? What the hell are the buttons? Okay. We'll start with ports. Did I update the game name? I did not. Okay. Uh, how do I? Oh, move. Uh. Eh? Topic ringside. In movie, what? Uh. Fuck. I didn't know what movie it was. I wouldn't have known it anyway. To win the X and two times your score, Miss and I get the square. Um, I I don't know. Okay. Lucky guess. Those Mendos. Okay. Pro hoops. Wait, where's my button? There it is. Uh, uh, the Denver Truckers. Phoenix Suns? Fuck. Oh god. I'm about to get GG'd by this fucking professor. Oh! Santos escapes! Yes! Thank you, Santos. Um, hmm. Any one of these is gonna... No, I should go for the gridiron. Because that's the only one that won't give two squares to, to O. What? T-Bone. Damn it. You fucker. Uh-oh, horse racing. We've already established I don't know horse racing. Last American track to race clockwise. Uh... Damn it, Belmont! Question limit. Game over. You don't even get to do all... Yeah, oh yeah, it did say six question limit. So you don't get to do all nine. That's pretty whack. <laughs> Alright, entertainment. Hunks and honeys. What? Uh, what? Uh, Brazil? Oh. Woof. Okay. War films. I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. 
Snake? No idea. Well, if I don't pick music grab bag, then Pierre's gonna pick it, so we just have to fucking do it now. True? It is false. I hate that fucker. Uh, I'm not getting out of this without doing sex trivia, am I? Sex humor. What happened when the man went to Mount Olive? Popeye killed him. Wow. Wow! Sex humor. I got one! Slang jargon. Popeye literally committed murder. Where most men are really comfortable with sex. In their own home? In a motel. In a motel. In their own home. Oh, God. Wait, the... They moved all the, the categories. I thought in his home would be too obvious. What the? I feel like this question has come up before in a different game. Am I just imagining things? Wow. All right, computer's gonna try to block me. Wink. Area of US with least number of perverse prostitutes? Um. Midwest? Fuck! Wait, what? With the exception of New Orleans, studies say, studies say what? Okay, I can... Oh, my God. <laughs> Sex grab bag. 1970 Oates novel about Fort... What? <laughs> Tiny Heinies. Lolita? About... Oh, God. Uh-huh. I wanted to answer Tiny Heinies, but I don't like this either, Biff. I, I This is making me really uncomfortable. What? What? Tweak the titties. Shoggle the... Aren't these all the same thing? Well, now you know, I guess. <laughs> yeah, hamster should put this on Switch. Arcade Classics Archives. Tic Tac Trivia. Wow, fuck this. So you're supposed to go after the one that's not alliteration, I guess? Yeah, at least I got the, the stupid joke one right. Do we 
really want to see the gay lifestyle question? I mean... Really? I just... You know, I'll do it for you, Raid. Just because you were so awesome to us over the weekend. All right. Unless it, like, reshuffles the categories. Oh, no, it's always the same ones. Okay. Male who just became... <laughs> Asswipe. Um... A Bronco? Of course, I always get the gay questions right. Alright. Asswipe. Okay, enough of that. That was a mistake. It is always a mistake. Battle flip shot. That hadn't come up yet, huh? I think I played Bang Bead like really early on in roulette, but flip shot hadn't come up yet. Alright. Wind jammers, but not as good. The Makers of Breakers Revenge. Whoa. Yeah, you can link a video. Go for it. Default high score is really fucking hard to beat. At least on one credit. Oh, B button slides. C button provokes. UB flip and shoot with shield. Break enemies all targets, so you will be winner! I will must be the winner. Alright. Oh, my controls aren't set. God damn. Okay, hold on. Let's get this set once and for all. Apparently I never set up controls on version 205. Oops. Uh, button... What the... Uh, something's up with my... Hold on, let me restart this. Why didn't that button not want to do anything? Try this again. There we go. All right, you probably know the BBH character. Bloody Wolf. Yeah, that was an armpish, armpit fetish shot. Uh, yeah, the art, the art in Bang Beat looked a lot better. Like the characters in this game just are pretty ugly. So everybody has a special shot. Bloody Wolf can actually, like, guide it up and down. And you have to destroy all the targets to win around, of course. But then once you're down to the last target, it takes fucking forever to, to get through the computer.
I think it's better to save the last target for the, the top or the bottom. Also, this is some visco ass music. Round two. Also, that is totally the announcer from Breakers. Oops. I'm already fucking up. Oh yeah, we're sliding. I forgot about the slides. You can taunt and get 10 points. I don't know if it does anything else. As you can see, it's not it's not very fun when you're down to like one or two targets. But then, like, nothing happens. Ah! Okay, so I gotta take out the middle targets first. Oh, there's that intro music again. Yeah, I gotta take out the middle ones first. Think. Shit. Shit. Oh, come on. No! I'm gonna game over on stage one. Fuck. I forgot the stress of this. Armpit. Okay. Round one. Go for the middle targets first, and then just... Oh! Uh, I don't know if there's enough demand for that, but maybe. There we go. Yeah, I think you win if you have more targets left over when time runs out, but... That 99 second timer lasts forever. Maybe it's not good to leave the one at the top. Maybe it is. They're one million dollar insurance on my bust. Million dollar titties. Round one. <laughs> That's quite a win quote. Oh yeah, this guy makes the ball turn invisible. And his pants fall down, what the fuck? Round two. Wow, stage two was way easier.
The pet is cute. What name is it? Oh, thanks, Electric Boogaloo. Yesterday was a rough day in terms of transit, but we made it home. Found one. Yeah, she's talking about the that dude's pet. That green thing. The pet is cute. Okay, what's this guy's ability? I think it staggers you or something. Shit. No! Damn, he's fast. Oh, how did he block that? Nice. Round two. I would definitely rather play Windjammers over this, but then again... Windjammers is a game you can only play against people. Because Windjammers AI is ruthless. Boing. Shit. Fuck, did I miss that? There we go. Yeah, Bang Bead was played, like, really early on in Mamerlet. Z-Cup Bomber killed you! <laughs> Did she mention that she has big tits? Round one. I mean, there's a million dollar insurance policy on it. I wonder what the wind quotes were like in Japanese. Oh god. Z Cup Bomber's killing me. best way to manipulate the computer. Like, you gotta get them to go all the way up or down, I guess. And again, I fucked up by not hitting the middle ones first. Shit. No! Ah! 
Two million dollars <laughs> worth of boobs. Man. Whoa, that was cool. Nice. Wait, what's her win quote to herself? Do you still want the play? Won't you try some other time? Won't you try? Round one. Okay, so... This is the main character. I don't know what his skull shot does. Uh-oh. Other than body the shit out of me. Oh my god. Okay, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't a no round brown. Ooh, that was sick. Round two. I'm hella sandbagging. Ah. I guess it's just a fast shot. Oops. Let's try to slide it. Round three. Ah. I left the ones in the middle. I fucked up. Never mind. Okay. There are martial arts fighting freaks. What? Oh, last boss. Round one. Death is a waifu. So I think she has like all the super shot abilities, it just randomizes. She's the the Christopher Robin of flip shot. Shit. Okay. Oh god. Yes. Round two. It's hard to see how many targets she has. It kind of blends in a little too well. Fuck. Ow! Continue music. What the hell game was this from? Oh. Yeah, you don't get win quotes from the computer, I guess.
That sound effect sounded really familiar, too. Wait, what? Oh my god. You have to go back to the previous stage. Oh. That's mean. Okay, I didn't know that. Ah. It does reset your score and continue, at least. Shit. Oh, I have the middle ones left. That's not good. Never mind. Well, it doesn't need to show a 1 for continue if it resets the score on continue anyway. There are martial arts fighting things. Okay, I'm not putting up with this garbage. Round one. I'll put another safe state there. Yeah, she's a big target to block stuff. If it is a she, I don't know. Mm. Ah! Okay, one more. Yeah. Swinging from the beginning, huh? All right, get those middle targets. Ah. Uh. Uh. Nice. Oh, what a fucking big block. There we go. Yeah, she randomizes all the all the hidden attacks that can be used. Same win quote though. Are there endings? You are number one. Congratulations. Not even an ending. But what about the lore? Uh... Uh... Uh, yeah, is there supposed to be a staff roll here? Oh, there... Maybe that only happens on a 1cc. <laughs> I swear that continue and game over music sounds like it's from a completely different game. Cause like, I don't think this game like really got a wide release at all. 
I guess some people were theorizing that it, like, didn't get an, an official, like, wide release, that it might have been a prototype, but... No, I'm pretty sure... Like, there are... There are a decent number of cartridges out there, but... Oh, I think they said they might not have got... This might not have gotten released in Japan. Like, it was developed in Japan, but it only got, like, a... A release in Europe or something? I don't know. Something like that. Z Cup Bomber killed you. Job without a job. Wait, am I right on the game count? Oh, that was game number nine. No, I'm off by one. Okay. And like I said, I didn't even rank in the high scores. This didn't need to be Giga Power. This game's actually quite small. It's just the Giga Power startup screen gets used for like pretty much every Neo Geo game after 1998. Like they just changed everything to the different. Uh, this Neo Geo startup screen. Sometime after 98, anyway. I think Metal Slug 2 was the, the first. But yeah, I'd rather play Windjammers. All right. Oh dear. Okay, so I left Sonic Blast Man in the directory even though you can't really emulate the punch pad that well. I... Yeah, I don't know what to do about this. How exactly does this work? Elements of this machine cannot be emulated as they require as they requires as they requires physical interaction or consist of mechanical devices. It's not possible to fully experience this machine. I have to show it though, it's Taito. It's got a swirly Taito logo. A hero who came from beyond the stars to safeguard the peace of the Earth. His name is Super Sonic Blast Man. No, oh, pink, no! Save pink. But there's no rest for the hero. Fight for love and justice. <laughs> Pad photo sensor one, two, three, four. So yeah, this was a uh, a game with a stand-up punching bag that you had to punch, and would determine how many. Uh, how much damage was determined by how hard you hit it. This game eventually got recalled because uh, people sued for hurting their hands on it. And Taito just completely recalled it from arcades. I did see this at my local arcade, and I was 
I was too little to do much damage to anything, so... Uh, let's start. Let's start. Okay, let's see if these actually work. So yeah, there's... Because, uh... You can't properly emulate how much damage you're doing. Okay, that time it didn't even work. There's like four buttons, I don't know. Some of these aren't even working. But luckily I hit the quota on one one punch. Thank you, supersonic glass man. <laughs> thank you, supersonic glass man. Thank you, super thank, thank, thank Oh I got tickets! Man. You can get tickets. Ah! Ah Run out of ticket. Uh can I turn off the tickets? No? Alright, so let's see what happens when you... When you don't beat up the hoodlum. Noogie, noogie, noogie. So I guess if I just speed it up... Failed. What a disgrace. You were knocked out. Okay. Wait, how do I... There we go. Watch out for the baby! You know you can just pick up the, uh, the stroller. You don't have to fucking punch a truck. Ah! Okay, it's not, it's not registering the punch now. I managed to punch it once. And now it's not working at all. I am using the first sensor. Uh, input Z. It is not functioning properly. I did it once. If I hit all the sensors, it does nothing. Take that. How did I do it that one time? If I hit sensor four, it does nothing. And if I hit two of them together... Wait, there we go. Wait, what? Okay, I guess I just hit all three together? <laughs> Congratulations! You've saved the baby, but at what cost? <laughs> uh, get eight tickets. Okay, so... Alright. That baby's about to die. Oh, the baby survived, so why the fuck did I run out in front of it? It seemed unnecessary. Okay. Uh, this, uh, escalated quickly. Destroy the evil fortress. Take that! Okay, that thing's fucked. Take that! Okay, now it doesn't work. Take that! 
Sometimes it registers and sometimes it doesn't. Oh god, Sonic Blast Man did 9-11? How did... What, what was this fortress doing to the town? I missed something in the lore here. Okay, shut up. Okay, so what's the, the failure message? You weakling! Now you're trapped under the ruins. I like how there's unique failure messages for each stage. You got run over! Alright, time to fight a giant enemy crab. A giant monster terror appears. They're going for a, a Darius thing. Uh. It's a robo crab. Take this. Boing. <laughs> yeah, I guess you just have to hit the buttons in order. If you want to register punches, just go one, two, three. You don't have to hit sensor four. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> it's a long animation. The monster has been immobilized. Maybe. Okay, let me just reset that so I don't have to listen to that message. Let's try that real quick. Oops. It's always the same lady screaming, even though there's other people on that on that boat that are gonna be in trouble. It makes a sound if I do one two. Okay, one plus three still does a three hundred ton hit but I don't want to actually kill the crab. <laughs> oh, the Daily Taito! The Daily Taito's still around after Crime City. A terrible accident. That will break his back with a lower, lowercase t. Exasperating monster for nothing. Leaving him to his fate. Go home! Man, they really got to proofread these stories. They uh, they run on the front page of the Daily Taito. They haven't learned anything since Crime City. You blew it. A cruise ship has fallen victim to the monster. I mean, most of the text was like kind of competent by Taito standards, and then and then that happened. Okay, now I have to save the Earth. From a meteor. It's that time of the stream where, where BBH has to destroy the Take Earth. That. And needless to say, I, I don't recall seeing anybody coming anywhere close to being able to do a 300 ton hit like... I'm pretty sure I saw people doing like... Maybe 120 or 130 with a single punch. Maybe a little higher. Thank you, Supersonic Glass Man. Ha! 
Because yes, my local arcade did have this. And and it was pretty popular. And then one day it was gone. I had no idea why. <laughs> oh man, Earth Day. Alright. And now the Earth blows up. Oh, man! <laughs> the meteorite did all that? Six billion people? It wasn't that big, was it? Damn. The entire human race. Damn. A hero who came from beyond the stars to safeguard the peace of the Earth. His name is Super Sonic Blast Man. <laughs> oh, he was eating a burger. It's totally pink, by the way. Fight for love and justice. Fight for love and justice. Alright, well... There's really nothing else to, to see. And it just... It's not the same experience as playing it on a, on a cabinet. Oh, there's a different intro. Okay, cool. Alright, so... I guess we're up to, uh... 2305, so... Hey, we got another viewer's choice. Seems about right. So, once again, I will bring up a list of... 15 games randomly decided by MAME. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh. Uh, not the strongest list. All right. Naomi Baseball. Mole Attack, 1982 Yachio Electronics. Hmm. Warrior, I think that was a vector game. Wait, doesn't that need an overlay or something? Great Sluggers. I guess... I played Great Sluggers 94, but not regular Great Sluggers. I don't know if Great... If, oh no, it's a Japanese version, so it's not going to have those goofy faces. Scoofy American faces. Bullfighter. I forget. I forget there's there's like one game that's called that has bullfight in the name and it's a hockey game and not actually bullfighting. I don't know if it's this one. Spot. Oh, I think this is just Othello, but with with seven up spot. Another Amiga game. Tecmo World Cup Millennium. More soccer. Versus Ninja Jaja Marukun. Forgot there was a versus version. Imago. On Fast Freddy hardware. What the hell is this? I don't remember what this is. Quiz Ghost Hunter. Yeah, it's a quiz game. Can't really tell you anything else than that, other than that. Invinso Deep Scan. I think I've played both these games, but this is both those games together. Whatever. Gladiator 1984. 
A deep cut from Crap Mame 2012. Uh, Thundercade. Vertical. Vertical Schmup. They got an NES port. Confidential Mission, which is basically Virtua Cop 2.5. Good game, but as usual, playing it on, on mouse is going to be uh, not great, but still a cool game. And Vindicators Part 2. I probably played Vindicators Part 1 already. That used, like, uh, uh, weird twin-stick-type controls. I don't think Gladiator 1984 is on SNK 40th. Like they had a, they had a flyer for it in the bonus section, but they didn't actually put it on 40th anniversary. All right. Thank you again, Ghost Pilot, for helping me out. That will be the. Be the poll for 2305. <laughs> no, Vindicators is not a sequel to Pit Fighter. Vindicators came out in 1988, sir. Or Vindicators Part 2 came out in 1988, and Pit Fighter was like 1990. And yes, Guardians of the Hood has already shown up. I couldn't avoid that game forever. Much as I wanted to. Yeah, it's a tank game with uh, uh, weird controls. Oops. We'll do a we'll do a few jumps of this if my controls are even set. They're not set. <laughs> Man, getting card instead of going ahead. Oops. Let's try that again. You know, this came up in the uh, in the roulette live panel, but I don't think it really got much of a much of a reaction, just because uh, there's not much to. I don't know. It's not not as funny. Some of the other things that could have shown up. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I really wish, uh, uh, what's it? One of the Pacific Novelty games came up, like Thief or NATO Defense or Shark Attack. Those would have, uh... <laughs> okay, what happened, Rain? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, I keep thinking that, that Growl wasn't the right thing to play, but eh. It is what it is. <laughs> They're totally sperm copters. I forgot to mention that there was one point where I couldn't remember the name of this game. And I just started calling it Sperm Copter because I couldn't remember the actual title for it.
Uh oh. Oh, that was a bad credit. Oh well. Alright. <laughs> I should have put the poll link in chat before I started that, but... Anyway. 28% of the votes for Confidential Mission. 23% for Thundercade. Fairly close, but... Uh, those seemed like the only two that were... Going to get that much traction. I guess Gladiator 1984 didn't really... Didn't really get much of a running. Oh boy, I get to let up Demio. I haven't had to use that today. Also, the the uh, the what's it? The calibration might not be correct. Yeah, I've had to use three different emulators. Too bad I didn't get a Model 2 game. I could have had four. Just go all out. Alright, let's see here. Has it been three weeks since the last time I used Emil? Um, I can't remember if anybody... Like nominated something, or not nominated, but made me play a Demiel game the last time uh, I did Sub Raffle. Okay, Confidential Mission. Oh, that's tiny. What the hell? There we go. Oh, that's still tiny. Why is it so small? I, mean, I guess I, I kind of have to keep a small window for this, though. Okay, first I need to go into service mode. I do that. Okay, so how do I? There we go. Game test. Gun adjustment. Uh, select with start button, pull trigger. Oh, actually, hold on. I need, I should probably turn on my mouse cursor for this. You good now? Okay. Uh, it looks like the... Check. Oops. Uh, it's a little bit off. How do I... Oh, that's really off. Okay, how do I remap it? Um... How do I actually recalibrate it? Default? No, default's not gonna... Oops. Fuck. Whoa. Oh god, now it's even worse. What the hell's going on here? Select each thing and he... Okay. Oh, god damn it. Okay, right. Oh, I see, I see, okay. 
So you got to hit it all the way on the right. No, got <clears throat> F. Wait, how do I switch it? Now I can't fucking. Oh, a start button. Okay. Left. Top. Bottom. Center. Center was already good, but okay. And now we're good. We're pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Good enough. Let's turn on inter internet ranking mode. Wait, how do I do that? Test button. Oops. Collision size. How do I get out of here? There we go. I guess internet ranking is per permanently closed. Okay. <laughs> I think we finally have this set up. Volume's kind of low. It might have reduced sound on demo, though. Let's find out. Oh man, might be some sound glitches. Wait, what the hell is that? That date and time at the top. That doesn't look right at all. It's 1882. That was like 37 years before Geeshauer died. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you have to set the uh, the calendar in test mode. Yeah, it's 2.36 o'clock. Quarter circle forward o'clock. How does that even happen? Vault. I'm pretty sure all the voice acting in this game in this game is still in English, even if you play the Japanese version, so. Shouldn't be a problem. I was trying to see if there was a way to, to change it over to English. Sometimes there are, is on these Naomi games, but. Hey, Barry Burton was the voice of the the male agent. Neat. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we have to get the disc back. Yeah, it does sound like Barry. All right, I think I'm ready. I can raise the audio a little more. Oh, this game actually has calibration. That should be good. I don't need this. I hope I didn't fuck it up. A group of international 
terrorists have seized control of the World Coalition's latest high-tech spy satellite. CMF sources have traced the satellite to an archaeological museum. Our mission is to secretly infiltrate the museum and find out who is responsible for stealing the satellite. Good luck. Uh, no. Looks like the work of Agatis. That's how they operate. That is totally Barry Burton. It's over, Agent Gibson. Prepare to die. What is wrong with that guy's face? So I used to be able to 1cc this, but I'm not going to do it on mouse. That's for damn sure. This game is very legit. Like, it's basically a Virtua Cop 2.5. It's got the lock-on indicator and everything. It's got justice shots, triple shot kills. Let's get out of here. No, we have to get the disc back. Cat and monkeys. I know it's a bonus guy. I think you get a bonus if you shoot all these heads in the background or something. I missed one of the uh, the CMF letters. Like you, you have to get th three CMF letters to. Oh, the share zone. You get the red, blue, and green. You get an extra life. I think. Ugh. Oh man, my kitties missed me so much. They're actually sitting in the suitcase. Took all the clothes out of the suitcase, and they're both sitting in it now. They don't want me to leave again. You cannot escape. You cannot escape. A gas attack. It's coming through the vents. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'm not doing very well on this. Oh god, I'm getting woozy. And then he stay woozy for a little while after that. Kind of a cool effect. Need that red. There we go. Oh, that guy went through the wall. There he is. Oh no. Yeah, I haven't gotten to play this on cabinet in a long time. I haven't seen a cabinet of this since like, I don't know, sometime in the mid 2000s. Got special weapons just like Virtua Cop. Oh god. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, I should keep the assault rifle. I should have just kept using it. Oh, Sphinx, Egypt. Did he just underhand that grenade? Ah, I missed a letter. There he is. We'll take a shortcut. Okay. <laughs> okay. We were just carrying these along. So I think you get more points if you shoot this early. If you fail it, you have to go a different route. Okay, body armor saves you from one hit. Thank God. Sometimes the camera moves in this game a little too much. Oh good, laser sight. Now I can see where my crosshair is. Oh wait. No! Oh. Hey, Duke Donuts, thank you for the, the resub. Much appreciated. Look at all the people. Yeah, and they're not here for the exhibits. <laughs> I always skipped a lot of these cutscenes after I saw them the first time. I forgot how how goofy they were. Why would I do that? 
Uh-oh. Of course, unlike Virtua Cop, this game can actually have multiple people lock onto you at once. So it's a little harder. This is the first email game for the for the new year. Can't remember if I can. Oh yeah, you can get extra hits while he's running around. Stupid man, baby. I knew this wasn't going to be a 1cc. I can't play light gun games on mouse. Also, I've forgotten like where a lot of the enemies are in this game. this disc. This time, Agaris has kidnapped Irina Mikolova, satellite programmer, and they have forced her to reprogram the satellite. She's being held captive on a train traveling through the mountains. Your mission is to save the, the train stage. Good luck. Oh god, that lady's face. Mikolova is locked up in the freight car. Keep an eye on her. Or else. <laughs> really regretting missing that blue one now. Who are you? Howard Gibson. CMF secret agent. We haven't got time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, uh huh, uh huh. Oh god, too many people! What the fuck is the assault rifle? I didn't see it. CRT. So I have the Dreamcast version too, and the gun.
I guess. Actually, I was trying to hit that briefcase. Oh god, this part sucks. I hate these fucking guys. Dreamcast version was solid. I don't remember there being like any major problems with it. points for these guys either because you can't hit them multiple times oh god mash the start button oh my god I needed to remap the start button <laughs> I wasn't ready for that oh god We all know how Demil is about mapping stuff. Thank you. <laughs> body armor. No, I need the body armor. Fuck. Power-ups go away so fast. Ooh. I was gonna say, is that guy coming back? I didn't even have a chance to hit the grenade. The grenade is just a giant explosion. Get ah. I don't remember where any of these hidden items are. I'm not ready for them. All right, have a good night, Ray. Whoa. Oh shit! There's plenty of greens, but not enough blues. Oops, penalty. There's a blue. I don't know if that actually killed anything. Alright, have a good night, Ghost Pilot. Thanks again for your, your help with the stream. I'll handle the, the rest of the nominations later. Uh, did I miss something there? Oh, reload. Majima! <laughs> oh yeah, this is the boss. This isn't a welcoming party. Oh 
Oh yeah, you gotta hit the whoa. Ah, uh, okay. Oh god, these missiles. I think once you get past the missiles, this boss isn't so bad. Until that happens. Impending disaster! Thank you for the 27 months in a row. Another in the, the big 27 club. Thank you, as always, for your support. Oh god. Uh, that was kind of unfair, I think. Five justice. With the help of Irina, we have located Agari's headquarters. However, our intelligence has informed us that the satellite control system is being transported to a submarine. Your mission is to break in and retrieve the satellite control <laughs> system. Good luck. God, it's like shooting the turrets in Cobra Command now. At least there's no checkpoints. Shit, I missed. Ah, uh, there's too many enemies for a mouse. I can't deal with this. I just clicked something in Demo. I think I just fucked something up. There's a dock downstairs. Was a dude. Whoa. Oh god! Fuck. Oh, you lose a lot of points for shooting those dudes. I think, or maybe that was when I continued. This might be one of those games that like docks your score when you continue. It takes off like five percent of your score or something. I know some games do that.
Yeah, this game has way too many innocent people running around. Majima. I barely even saw those guys. Whoa, what the? There's a shadow on the ceiling. Also, is this the bloody scorpion group? on the mouse. Yeah, dox your score when you continue. It just took off like 40,000 points. I think it's like 5% of your score. I think House of the Dead 4 does that also. Oh my god. The higher your score, the more you stand to lose. Alright, have a good night. Sorry, this is really hard to read chat during. Oh yeah, Ninja Assault did that, for sure. Oh my god, I can't hit this guy. Shoot all these guys. Oh yeah, I got to play uh, Crisis Zone at uh, at Magfest. I hadn't played that in forever. That's another light gun game I've apparently forgotten everything about. I was doing awful. Used to be able to one CC it. I miss that game. There's also a Time Crisis 1, but it wasn't in great shape. Like, the gun kept, like, double firing. So it was really hard to count how many shots he fired. I don't think Welcome to Fright Fair Land is emulated. Pretty sure it's not. Welcome, Mr. Gibson. I'm afraid you are too late. The satellite has been programmed to strike anywhere in the world. Even at the Confidential Mission Forces headquarters. <laughs> what? If you must know, you must have... <laughs> <laughs> Cyber Majima, I forgot about this. What the fuck? Fucking Cyber Majima. How did I forget about this guy? Still not as dumb as the last boss of Virtual Cop 3. Oh man, he is throwing terabytes around. What the fuck? Fuck. 
Seven continues, Jesus. It's hard to believe I ever knew how to play this. What? Extra, extra damage when he's like that, but you get extra points at least. Almost got him. Now that's satisfied. Farewell, confidential mission force. The bomb will explode and he will get away. There it is. Smooth games. Let's get him. Pull up the base with the satellite laser. Oh, I guess there were a lot of scientists in there, I guess. And if they well if they didn't escape though, they're fucking dead now. No, I mean they could have shot it with the base before before they invaded it, you know? Oh, God! Shut the fuck up. Maybe the confidential mission was the friends we made along the way. Got any plans for the holidays? Is this a Christmas game? Oh, yeah, I forgot there's, like, outtakes. This game's good. Close enough to the holidays. Oh, what a bad score. I was mad if I never got above 2 million. Or below 2 million. I know SM Raidus did like 3 million or something, right? Oh man, it's 2.37 o'clock. <laughs> Let me see if I can adjust that. Not that it matters now, and not that that had like anything to do with the game. But clock set in. Okay. Hmm. It's reading the clock out of my computer. Is this game not? Uh... It has to be year year two K compliant. This came out in the year two thousand. How high can you set the? Oh, whoa, whoa! Well, I can't go backwards. Okay. So the year only goes up to 2013. Wait, if this game came out in 2000, then why why can you have dates in the 
1998. You're going to time travel and play this? Yeah, I guess they're in development. Good point. Okay, did this actually fix it? No, I guess not. It, it could just be a D-Mule thing. Maybe D-Mule just doesn't show it right. I don't know. Nah, eh, not a big deal. I don't know why the game uses a HTML marquee for the, the date and time. Like The clock like isn't used for anything in this game, I don't think, so... I don't know why they have it in a track mode. Nah, eh, whatever. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got to be a Demiel bug. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll call it there. I said I'd probably go late tonight, but... Ending on a good game seems to be the way to go. This is about the... I don't know the time things would end anyway. However, we got some streams coming up. Thursday will be, uh... Oh, I got some... Hold on, I got some, uh, some... Yeah, some stuff from gun tanks. Hold on. Where are we at? Let's get out of here. No, we have to get the Those are the only ones I saw. Alright, hold that thought. <laughs> Wait, what was that game called? I was blanking on the first game I played. Star Guards. Hold on. Oh god, the audio's getting all fucked up. Yeah, it, it helps to send them to me on Twitter, because if you send me a link while I'm in the middle of playing something, I'm not going to see it. Because I prefer to have, uh... To have them tweet it to me so I can find them between games and shit. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh... I'll get caught up on this. Yeah, that is true. The notifications seem to have... I don't know if Lele got shadow banned or what on Twitter. Because I didn't see those notifications last time. And then I got blamed for it. Anyway, here's a... A Bloody Wolf from Gun Tanks. Bloody Wolf, not the game. Bloody Wolf, the character from... Flipshot. Also a, uh, uh, a thing from Star Guards. 
whatever his name was. Yeah, perfectly captured those soulless eyes. Probably close this. And... <laughs> Kick and run. Yeah, his name started as Flux and then it changed to, like, Tangent or something. Oh man, look at those knees. Thank you very much for those gun tanks. Sorry, I f forgot to uh, add those. And thank you, uh, <laughs> thank you, Ghost Hall, for. <laughs> She never died, though! She didn't die. That's the thing. She didn't rise from the grave. She never died. God damn it. There is no Julia Graveyard stage. Shut up. Yeah, now instead of having to hear jokes about Julia being dead, all I hear are jokes from Devil Ray about her being low tier. Another lie. Things I have to put up with in my life. Anyway, that's what I was going to say. Uh, now that I'm back, I gotta I gotta stream some more. So, unfortunately, I can't stream tomorrow. But uh, Thursday, Thursday sub raffle night. If you are a sub to this channel, that's your chance to make me play uh, play whatever. And then, of course, uh, this Saturday, it is on the Mamerlet Viewer's Choice Extravaganza, probably starting around uh, 2 p.m. Pacific as usual. It'll be a nice long, probably 10 hour or so stream. If you have a game you want to nominate for the, the Viewer's Choice Extravaganza, either uh, Either hit me up on Twitter or join the the Lord BBH Discord. Put it in the Extravaganza nominations channel, and I will get it. Uh, I will get it added to the list. I know it is getting it is getting harder and harder to uh, to come up with games as we're twenty three hundred games in twenty three oh five. But if you can't think of anything, that's that's more that's okay. You can still show up and watch the streams if you want. So it'll happen on Saturday, and then uh, conclude on uh, on the next roulette episode, which will be on Monday. Yeah, we're back to Monday streams. Yeah, it's good to be back. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for the thank you for all the resubs, the big resub train at the beginning. That was fun. Thank you for the tickets. I'm sorry if I've forgotten anything. Thank you, Iron Sheik, for the the very kind donation. And until next time. I will see you next. Take care, everybody. Congratulations, you won. You fight in the We fight again. Bye-bye.